Once again, if I may, I would like to make a little correction for the record. Everybody hit the like button. How is everybody? Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the city council meeting that you didn't see. Give me a five by five if you guys can hear me okay. But I also want to state the wording that Nate read off. Give me a five by five if you guys can hear me. So this is right before the city council meeting is going to explode. I'm sorry, this is a county commissioner that, meeting, what you're watching right here. And what you're going to see is this place erupt. Not during the speech, right after the speech. These people lose their minds. There's some serious cop sucking going on in Delta County. Wheeling Sportsman, in fact, Kenny Buckles and I were out yesterday for right around five hours with the DNR, looking at food plots and stuff, and actually going to some of his sites, which are on private property. The reason they're on private property is... As soon as I speak right here in, in just the next couple minutes, you're going to see this crowd explode. So there's Press with Ranker right there filming. You see the bald gentleman right there? That man's name is Garrett Vanette. He's the one that they're persecuting there in Delta County. You see him right here with the with the bald head. He's just attending a county commissioner meeting. He has every right to attend a county commissioner meeting. Everybody do me a favor and hit the like button. You guys are about to see an explosion. This was in Michigan. This was in Delta County, Michigan, uh, maybe five days ago, six days ago. We've donated so what they've been doing is is persecuting and prosecuting this man right here with the bald head in the in the frame the man you can see his hand on the lower left hand corner holding the camera that man is named press with ranker right there on the lower left hand corner the bald gentleman they've been persecuting him and prosecuting him and i found out about it and he and we garrett and i have become friends he's a friend of mine for certain there's no doubt so we have to make up some special ones. So it's just to be Thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm about to speak on behalf of Press with Ranker here, and I lay out the facts of this case very, very succinctly. Gems. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate you guys coming. This, this, I should have changed the title of this video. This is for Press with Ranker. If you guys are unfamiliar with Press with Ranker, I'm going to put his Press with Ranker right there. I just put it in the chat for everybody. How is everybody? Lenny, good to see you. Work on some more access. I'm sorry. No, you don't be pleased, but thank you very much. This is about to go bang. Wait, just wait till my speech is over. These people go crazy. I mean, it, it's almost a fist fight. I, I haven't shown all this footage yet. I'm just going to show it today for the first time ever. So you guys are all going to get to see. Oh, the Upper Peninsula is beautiful and the people are real nice. This group of people is, are cops. Some of these are cop suckers and an ex -pig. Yeah, he has accommodations. So... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chile De Castro. I have a very famous YouTube channel called Delete Laws. I'm here specifically because of the tyrannical behavior of the prosecutor in this county. And I don't fly away. I'm from Southern California. I don't fly off, but Lauren Wickman is about to cost you guys. This whole meeting's been about money. This woman's about to cost you guys at least $50,000 because we're filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against her because what she's done, and I have this all on video. The gentleman standing back here is named Garrett Vanette. He's what you call a First Amendment auditor. What he does is when you get pulled over by the police, he films you. He films what's going on, because as we've seen in America, the police are attacking people, putting them in torture cuffs, dragging them off to a dungeon. And today's jails are not like we saw when we were kids on TV. I'm a Gen Xer, I'm almost 50. A lot of you remember, you know, the, the missus would bring you cobbler inside of the jail. No. It's a total dungeon where they treat you horrifically bad. Lauren Wickman, what she has done is she colluded with the Tardif family, Todd Tardif, Cole Tardif, and sister Paige Tardif. Now we FOIA'd 
the page Tardif's emails. And what you're going to find is it's deprivation of rights 242 and 243. What should happen is Lauren Wickman, along with Cole Tardif, Todd Tardif, and Paige Tardif, should be prosecuted under U.S. Code 18 because this is deprivation of rights under the color of law. The most important thing you guys have to remember, I'm going to list all the videos. I'm going to put them all on my channel so you can see them. But the most important thing you guys have to understand is this is a malicious prosecution. Yes, it In is. The 2022 case of Thompson versus Clark, when a prosecutor maliciously targets somebody wrongly, then that's a malicious prosecution. And that's what we'll be filing the federal civil rights lawsuit under. I have a lawyer up here in Michigan who's going to help me file that lawsuit. I'm an advocate. I'm a journalist. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Now, here is Garrett Van Ness's entire, Van Ness's entire crime. You see what he's doing right there? That's his entire crime. There's no weeping babe. There's no damaged party. There's no one out of money. There's nobody hurt. Nobody injured. Cole Tardif targeted him. Let me give you the rundown. Here's the... So... In 2021, in June, Garrett Vanette was- I want you guys to pay really close attention right here. I'm going to lay out the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step of what the, the local police and the state police in Delta County have targeted Garrett Vanette, also known as Press with Ranker. He's a private guy. He's a good guy. He doesn't really talk. He's a friend of mine, and I really respect and admire this man. So now I'm going to lay out the case before you so that you guys can see exactly what they've done to him each different incident pulled over for avoiding a car accident. Cole Tardif targeted him. Let me give you the rundown. So in 2021, in June, Garrett Vanette was pulled over for avoiding a car accident. He went around a median and the cop pulled him over and gave him a 12 point ticket. It went to court. He lost. Garrett won the case. He got a four point ticket and the judge was annoyed with the cop because the cop was being what I call a JVTP. I'll refrain from it, but you guys can look it up. Okay. Just trying to be respectful. I never, a I never cursed there. once. I don't have any respect for police. I've done this for 20 years. And what I've seen time and time again is that most cops treat people totally unjustly, totally unfairly. And it's your kids and it's my kids. And it's our friends and family that these cops are hurting with those torture cuffs. Amen. So I have three more minutes after this because I'm going to go next. So I'm just speaking for him right now. So on June in 2021, he gets a 12 point ticket by by Quaylen. His name's Quaylen from Delta County Sheriff's Office. Quinlan. So after June, his on name is July Quinlan. 4th, they literally break into Garrett's house and they tow his cars away on Main Street. No ticket, no nothing. They just towed his cars away. One of the cars they towed to a parking lot right around the corner. The other one they put in the impound lot. No ticket. Has anybody here have your car towed without a ticket before? I flew here from Southern California because there's, there's videos of these things. This isn't something I'm making up. I can prove it. You can watch it on my channel called Delete Laws on YouTube. So then Garrett, after that, after July 4th of 2021, begins to audit police as he's seen me do, as he's seen thousands of people around the country do. Then in July 11th of 2022, outside of Garrett's apartment, outside of his work, he's working at UPHP, the doctor's park, John Lemire stalks him. He stalks him and he follows him. And he said, because Garrett looks at him and he gives him what we call the bird. I'll refrain. I'll just show you the action of what he gave him. And then he stalks him. He goes up to him and says, give me some ID. As you know, you have a Fourth Amendment right from unreasonable searches and seizures. And Garrett says, I'm not going to give you the ID. I see the video. I have a huge channel. I cover it. It goes viral. Millions of people watch it. Lauren Wickman's embarrassed. So is Todd Tardiff. Now, what happens after that? July 13th, he audits more cops. 14th, he audits more cops. Goes to the Michigan State Police Department. July 15th, tries to get a complaint for him. Can't get one from Janice. August 10th, Todd Tardiff, Cole Tardiff's dad. He, he audits him and films him. Films him. Todd Tardiff doesn't like it. Then, on September 8th, he sees the coppers. He gives them the bird again. This guy's named Gr Grubel. And then that video, again, goes viral. So what happened? What does Lauren Wickman do? Lauren Wickman then colludes with the Tardiff family to charge him with a felony. Yes. They, they charge did. him with a felony. Yes. Because the, the very next day on November 28th, I'm sorry, a couple months later, Cole Tardiff arrests him for doing exactly what he's doing right now. That's his felony crime. There it is. This is his felony crime. That's why I came here from Southern California. You can't charge a man with a felony looking at a year in prison for holding a camera. You want to charge him with disorderly or or something? You know, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? If he's in the way, okay, I, I, I'm agreeable, but I'm not agreeable with the felon. Lauren Wickman is going to cost all of you guys thousands of dollars because I have a very famous saying that everybody knows I say, we don't stop. We don't and stop. And I will never stop. This woman is costing your people and she's, 
the word we use is tyrant. You cannot charge someone with a Put it in the comments. The camera. So then we're, we're getting page, page tardif. We're Put it in the comment, these these three words right here. The felon. Lauren Wickman is going to cost all of you guys thousands of dollars because I have a very famous saying. That Put it in the comment section. Everybody knows I say, we don't stop. We don't and stop. And I will never stop. This woman is costing your people and she's, the word we use is tyrant. You cannot charge someone with a felony for holding a camera. So then we're, we're getting Paige, Paige Tardif works as an assistant for Lauren Wickman. Paige Tardif is Cole Tardif's sister. It's collusion. There's his crime. You're looking at it, it's folks. It's conspiracy. Do you, want to, do you want me to file a lawsuit against this county? We have to pay fifty thousand dollars to to start to defend it. I have the numbers. And what I do specifically when I work with attorneys, we file motion after motion. Yes, after, we do. Each motion costs between yeah. four hundred and twelve hundred dollars. Lauren Wickman, anybody who runs against her, I will promote on my channel and I will support. This cannot stand. And the commissioners, you guys should end this prosecution. State your name, please. My name is Chili DeCastro. The name of my channel is Delete Laws. With here's, a, here's a precursor Delete to what happens next. Okay. No, I, I think I think that I think that was both of my three minutes. I think that was both of my three minutes. I do thank you. Got. Okay. Now I want to. I'm going to show you the rest of that. You guys did not see what happened after that. What you're going to see right now. Boom, this place explodes. Guy tries to fist fight me. Another guy comes flying in to break it up because the guy tried to run me over with his body. Listen, right now, here's what I'm gonna do. At the end of this live stream, I'm gonna give away everything I sell for free. Put your order number. If you pick up anything off my website, deletelaws.com, get this trifold in your car. This is what I want you to have in your car. At the end of every one of my lives, anybody who puts their order number in here, save it for the end. Put your order number in the comment section. If you get anything from my website, I don't care if it's $9, $35, or $100, anything you buy, I will then match it and give you everything I sell for free, which is about $150 bucks worth, of, worth of stuff. So right now, if you go to deletelaws.com, at the end of this live stream, I will send you everything I sell for free. I want you to get this trifold in your car, either the $9 one or the $35 one. I want this trifold in your car. And then I will turn around and email you right here during the live everything I sell for free. So go to deletelaws.com right now and get your trifold. I want everybody in America to have a trifold in their car. I don't want you to talk to cops. Now, you guys saw this. Let me show you the rest of it. I, made a mistake. I, accept it. I mean, she's a tyrant. All right. Thank you so very much. It's that simple. Thank you. That was my error. I apologize. Yep. You don't get to make mistakes. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. General public comment. This is Garrett right here. Hey, Garrett, how you doing? That's Garrett Vanette, also known as Press with Ranker. He's not a real public person. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, now here's the rest of that meeting. Hold on tight. Hold on. I'm not editing this. I'm just showing you the raw dog footage here. I don't have time to edit this. Wait till you see what happens. Wait till you see what happens. This goes boom i mean boom so this is the the mother of a copper this this woman right here let me open this big so you guys can see it this is the mother of a local copper who has retired now they had heard my comments that i don't have any respect for pigs and guess what guess what happened guess what happened i'll let you be the judge you watch this Who's a pig? Who's a pig? No, he didn't. Is there no sound coming out on this? Is there is there no sound coming out? Let me let me adjust this real quick. Let me just take a look. You guys have no audio on that? Let me, let me see if I can fix that real fast. Let me see if I can fix this real fast. Just give me 15 seconds here and see if I can just get this fixed for you. It may be right here. So listen, you know, the thing is right now is there's so many people who are 
waking up and realize that you have you can't talk to cops you've got to plead the fifth amendment there are so many people waking up to the fact of what's going on in our country and and that's really what i want to talk about with you guys is invoking your fifth amendment right to remain silent when you get pulled over by the cops listen you know i have a value on the things that i do the reason why i do this promotion so that you guys will give me your order number during the live stream is because that means there's going to be more people with a trifold in their car and that's what i really want to happen i want everybody in the country to have a trifold in their car i want people to start invoking their fifth amendment right to remain silent so if you order anything off my website whether it's a five dollar item the ten dollar five a cop card the 35 dollar trifold the hundred dollar poster whatever you order right now during this live stream you put your order number down here in the comment section and at the end of this live stream i will email you everything i sell for free 100 percent for free i'll email it to you during this live Yep, George has had it in his truck for over a year. I, I make them on indestructible paper. Of course, you can destroy the paper if you try to. It is still a form of paper. But if you have the indestructible one, you can wad it up like this, and it'll come right back into form really, really nicely. If you spill coffee on it, it won't, it won't just saturate the coffee. The coffee rolls off of it. And as you guys know, I'm a huge coffee-aholic. I am a gigantic coffee aholic. Unfortunately, because of my high blood pressure, I can only have one coffee a day now. I check my blood pressure about midday and then I see if I can have another cup of coffee. If I'm below 140, then I'll have another cup of coffee. But if I'm above 140, then I will not have another cup of coffee. And often my lower number on the blood pressure will be about 100, 110. And so if I'm over 100, then I won't have another cup of coffee. But my readings are often like 142 over 95, 146 over, over 89. And then at one point last week, I got my reading down to uh, 126 over 81, which is really, really close. Okay, yeah, there's there's no audio on this on this particular thing. But listen, I just want to make sure that everybody gets a trifold in your car. If you can't afford the nine dollars and you're on disability, you don't have any money, email me and I'll give it to you for free. I want you to have the trifold in your car. I mean, it's so funny because for so many years I ran people's companies and I ran sales forces and I set the agenda and I do all this stuff. About 10 years ago, I stopped working in sales because I didn't want to sell anything to anybody. I was like, I don't want to sell your rubber band or I don't want to sell your glass. I don't want to sell your stuff. I just don't want to sell your crap. And so I just quit sales. And my family was like, dude, you make a quarter million a year. Just what are you doing? And I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to sell stuff to people that I don't believe in. And so now, now that I have something that I super believe in, that I super think, well, I know it for a fact. I'm a constitutional law scholar. The most important amendment right now is your fifth amendment. It's your fifth amendment right, right now. And you've got to invoke your fifth amendment right. While that is rendering real quick, let me show you guys another video that I did that I put up this morning. Maybe some of you guys saw it, maybe some of you didn't. Make sure you guys keep your order number, put your order number in the comments at the end of this live stream. And I will check the order number, check your email, and I'll email you everything I sell for free. I mean, I've been doing this three days in a row and more and more people are getting the trifold in their car. And that's what I want. I don't wanna cover your story. I don't wanna cover your story where you're dead. It's just not what I want to do. You didn't invoke your fifth amendment, right? You didn't listen to what the guy taught you. And now you're in a situation. You don't have your camera out of your pocket because you didn't pull it out. Why didn't you pull it out? Well, I was nervous. I don't care. That cop will put you in torture cuffs in two seconds flat. He doesn't give a, he doesn't give a crud about you. I try to keep the language clean when I'm here with you guys, but he doesn't care about you. He wants to put you in jail. He's planned this all day. He woke up this morning thinking to himself, I can't wait to pull someone over, see something in their car that I could consider illegal and arrest them, impound their car and steal their money and put your body in a dungeon. That is why you invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You do not talk to coppers. Do not talk to coppers. Put it in the comment section. Sean, wait till the end of the show and I will take your order number. Uh, Scrubzilla, if you want to make a list of people's orders numbers, that would be great. And then Scrub, I need to talk to you too. I'm going to give you a call or a text after this live stream. So now I'm going to show you a video while the other one is rendering just real quick. I brought in a new person named Dula. So Dula uh, cut this yesterday. And so I want to show the crowd Dula's, Dula's cut. I mean, he did such a nice job on this. It is just so unbelievable what he did. And I'm so super proud of him for the work that he put in. And I'm grateful. You know, I'm, I'm grateful that there's people who really want to be on the, on the side of liberty, really want to be on the side of justice. 
And that's, that's really what I'm talking about is if we don't have justice and we don't have liberty, then we don't have anything. If you're not free, then what am I doing here? If I'm not free, why am I here? And I'll tell you, it, it ha I'm going to show you the rest of that. But before I do, I want to just show you this video that, that I put out this morning. It's only eight minutes, the whole video. So um, while the other video is rendering because there's no sound on it, I'm just going to show you. Yesterday, I showed you a clip of this. Here's the edited version of that clip. So I want you guys to be able to watch this. Everybody, listen, it's a giveaway at the end of this. I'm giving away everything that I sell, everything. Every single thing that I sell, you buy one thing from my store and I want you to get a trifold. If the $9 one or get the 5A cop card and then I'll send you the trifold anyway because I think the five I think the 5A cop card is cheaper. So I just I just want you to get it. I want you to get the stuff that you need in your car. I don't want you to talk to Jack Boot Thug Pigs. I don't want it because you'll end up, uh, you know, dead. You'll end up where I got to cover your story because because you didn't know. You didn't know that the cop was going to was going to kill you. You thought this would be a fine interaction. You, you thought that wouldn't happen to you. You thought that you didn't have to invoke your Fifth Amendment, right? You thought that and you were wrong and you were wrong because I've covered thousands and thousands of interactions. If you talk to the cops, if you talk to the cops, you give them this much room to arrest you, they will. They look forward to arresting you. Remember, they make money, bonus, and accolades by putting you in torture cuffs and dragging you down to the dungeon while they impound your car and they steal your money. Your trifold goes in your visor above. I sell you this nice broccoli wad rubber band right there. It goes right over your visor. Your registration, proof of insurance, everything goes on top right there. Now I can slide everything to that jackboot thug pig. And then I, let me, let me show you exactly how it's done. This is, let me show you exactly how it's done. I showed this yesterday, but this is the edited version with the new editor. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Cuffs. Right. So those are torture cuffs. Right. So those are torture cuffs. Let me put them on you for five minutes. I'll give you $1,000 for five minutes. Yeah. Save your bullshit. Not to do it here. Get out. Go on. Get out. Go on, dude. I want to see your, I'm going to foil you your body cam. Foil you your body cam. And I'm going to find out if my tail lights are out in a rental car. He I'm lied. not going anywhere, Jack Boot Thug Pig. I don't give a damn. I don't know who you are. You got the gun. I got to go. I got to catch a plane. Signaling out the window that I'll pull over. Hi. I'm Corporal Wayne with the Talking County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over is you don't have any tail lights on. Is there any reason you did not pull over when I activated my lights? He's questioning me. The Fifth Amendment. There it is. Forty-seven, eleven, thirty-seven. Here's my here's my license, my registration, and my proof of insurance. Here's the insurance. Here's the rental car agreement. And my driver's license is right here. Where's your driver's license? Well, didn't I just say it's right here? Yeah. Let's see how you do. He's not going to do well. On Santa Monica Boulevard in California. I plead the Fifth Amendment. Okay. If you ask me another question, you're violating my rights, and I'll file a lawsuit against you. Write your ticket, do what you're going to do, but don't harass me any further. If you have every relevant information you need, go do your job or I'll sue you. Get okay. the hell out of my face. There's everything you need. Go on. Go do your job. I would like to give you your insurance card back. I'll take it. And I will give you that rental agreement back. There you go. Where's my license? I'm going to have your license for now. I'm sure you're going to put it in your pocket because that's how you guys behave. But I just get my license back. It'd be great. I need to go about my way. Okay. So I, I missed it earlier. I went live right when he pulled me over. And of course, I immediately pled the Fifth Amendment. I didn't wait a second. They always try, is the address on your license your current address? Well, <laughs> immediately again, I said, here it is. I said, that's your second time you've asked me a question. If there's a third time, you're going to get sued by me. Don't ask me questions. I've got my other camera running just in case. So look, the moment the copper pulled me over, I started running camera. There was no delay. My taillights went off. I like to see that on the camera. I'm in Michigan around Green Bay. You guys know I had everything ready to go right there. I had everything in my trifold ready to go. I said to him, let's see how you're going to do. I said, why are your taillights out? I pled the Fifth Amendment immediately. And then he was like, okay. I said, here's my license, my registration, my proof of insurance. And then he said, is the address on your driver's license your current address? And again, I took the Fifth Amendment and I said, I plead the Fifth Amendment. And then he took my license like a jackboot thug pig and stuck it in his pocket. What the f
is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I, I can't do it. I, I want to put the car and drive and pull up about two feet. I almost did. I can't. I, I can't do did. it just because there's too many people watching. I don't want you guys to put your car and drive and pull up three feet. That's not what I want to see you do. You know what I mean? Look at how they treat you. They overwhelm your car with light. And I didn't think anybody would be up. What time is it? Two o'clock in the morning, East Coast time. So it's, I guess it's midnight over there. Midnight or 10 p.m. on the West Coast. Two cops. You guys, what, what's going on here? I have none of this. No, I'm detained right here. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I travel the country suing police. So give me back my license and let me go. Or give me a ticket. You don't need another cop here. I need you to do your job and let me go. Hey, eat my shorts. I'm coming to a safe place. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to take your ass to court. Now write your ticket. I got to go. I got to catch a plane. I'm not going anywhere, jackboot thug pig. I don't give a damn. I don't know who you are. You got the gun. Get in the car and do your freaking job. I got to go. I got to catch a plane. You joined that disgusting organization. That's what you did, you piece of shit. You're a piece of garbage, bro. Pulls me over for my... Now, I want to see the camera where my tail lights were out. I want to see that. No, no. I want to sue him. I want to put his hands on me so I can sue him. And I'll go after his badge. That's what I really want to do. You joined an evil thing, bro. Quit now. I don't fight anybody. I'm a nonviolent pacifist. I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. What? I try to sue as many cops as I possibly can. Yes. You joined an evil, evil organization. Is that, is that your job? Yeah, this is all I do. I'm up here right now helping another guy. No, I'm Press just an ranker. activist. But why am I celebrated and you're demonized? Why is that? Because the policies and procedures, no, dude, the policies and procedures you signed up to do are disgusting. This jackboot thug pig would put me in handcuffs in two seconds flat. Two know what seconds. That means, Jack. A jackboot thug pig? Do you have torture cuffs on your belt? I have handcuffs. Right. So those are torture cuffs. Let me put them on you for five minutes. I'll give you $1,000 for five minutes. I'll give you a thousand bucks. Quit now, dude. You're 20 years younger than me. Quit this sucks and excuse my language people you're a wrestler yep. oh, yeah. dude get, get, college, high, school? high school and college dude listen this job sucks this job unless you're a jack job, bullshit dude that oh no 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 you don't get a pass those are torture you don't get a pass you don't get a pass citation to you or no no i don't so right here. Uh, just just save your bullshit. November 8th. Save you're save not, save your bullshit. You're not required to appear. Get out. Okay. Do I need to Find sign it? Right. Go I on. You're you're, go there. on, dude. I want to see your I'm, I'm gonna FOIA your body cam and I'm gonna find out if my tail lights are out in a rental car. Okay. I don't can. believe you. I think you're Corporate lying. Office, I think you're lying. Corporate your name's what? Corporal Corporal Whalen. Cor Corporal Whalen. Your name's Mr. Whalen. You're a peace officer, a domestic peace officer. You are not a corporal. You are not in the military. You should never go by corporal because that makes you have an allegiance to the person above you and the person below you. Exactly. And it makes you fear the person above you and below, and you have to take orders instead of upholding my rights. Like giving me a ticket for no taillights. When and luckily I let you up about a mile and a let half me? back, so there's going to be a mile and a half of me drive me? behind you without your taillights. Did not? Did I not stick my thumb out the window and say, "Hey, I'm pulling over over here"? Did you not see this? Thumbs up. I'm pulling over. Did you I not see that? Where the traffic stops. No, you don't. It's my freedom, Jack Boot. Okay. You, you, you serve me. Exactly. You serve me. You serve me. I gave you a thumbs up. You yeah, serve then go me. Go on. Go on. Quit now, dude. Job sucks. Exactly. You're supposed to serve me. Instead, you gave me a yes. ticket for nothing. Looks like the tail lights are on. No tail lights, huh? What's that? No tail lights. How's there no tail lights? Looks like there's tail lights right there to me. Yes, That's what it, it looks does. Like. I can't wait for you guys to see the beginning of that. Oof, freezing. He gave me a ticket for no tail lights. Really? Did I, I? I just saw the tail lights were on. How how did that happen? How were the tail lights just on? How was that? If you're Evil. a wrestler, you do not become a pig. That's you're right. You're not tough because you fight people. That's you right. Don't fight back. That's if you right. wrestled and you got on the mat and you went one on one against That's another right. man to see who was the better man, and you sign up to be a pig after you've wrestled, were you a fish stick and you just have to win sometime? Like. Exactly. Were you a you fish don't do stick? That, dude. You couldn't beat you anybody. You don't become a pig. You don't ne sign up to be a pig. That's they right. They wonder why I'm so mean to them. They signed up to be a pig. They exactly. signed up for it. They signed up to do exactly what they're doing. You don't get a pass from me, bro. You signed up to be a jackboot thug pig. This guy's so why spot on. Why the hell would I give you a pass? <laughs> I was driving down the road. He pulled me over because it's two o'clock in the morning. I must be drunk. I must be stoned. I must be whatever. Then he then he, <laughs> he gets mad. When you guys see the beginning of that audit, YouTube has a thing now where you can go live, but it's unlisted. So it was just so weird. 
but I was just relaxing. I was actually listening to a teacher's history of the United States, John Locke, some thoughts on education from 1693. That's what I was just listening to. And I was kind of absorbing it and I was listening to it and I was listening to it. And I was kind of just in a zone, just driving. And then he said, I passed by and I didn't have my taillights on. There's no taillights. My taillights were on just fine. What was he talking about? And then he pulled me over on the freeway and expected me to pull over on the freeway. I put my finger out and I thumbs up and I said, hey, no problem, I'll pull over. Owned that pig. I just can't stand them. Oh, what's, them. what's the respect? You can't be a wrestler and sign up to be a pig. Yes. Whoop, whoop. It was pretty fun. Whoop, whoop. I, I rallied that around while I was up here in New Hampshire. I'm sorry, Michigan. <laughs> I was up here in Michigan. Pretty nice. I had a pretty good time. I'm taking this back to the rent -a car place though right now. So, you know, you guys don't, you and I don't have the same role. So needless to say, don't go jumping out of the car and taking on pigs. Do not do what I do, do what I say. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up. It's illegal for me to stream and drive in Michigan. So I have to get off this. All right, I will see you guys on the next one. Later Gators. There it is right there. So now I want you guys to give me a vote. Um, what do you guys think of the new editor? What do you guys think of the new editor? He's uh, he, he, he cut this up yesterday. I thought he did a fantastic job. I gave him a, a big, uh, a big thank you. And, and I, I think uh, today is, is going to be. Still with me here. So let's go to content here and let's see if this is okay. So the council meeting is at 81% uploaded. So it'll just be up there in one second, 82%. For some reason, the sound's not coming through on on um on StreamYard. So listen, this I'm I'm giving away all my products today. You have to purchase something. You have to buy one thing. If you buy one thing in my store on deletelaws.com, and I want you to get the trifold or the 5A card. The real 5A card's coming out next week. We had a mess up at the factory, so we had to scrap it and do it again. But I want you guys to have my trifold in your car. This is what you do when you get pulled over. Your, your trifold, along with your registration, proof of insurance, everything goes up here in the visor. Everything goes up here in the visor, just like this. When I when I send you your trifold, I send you this nice fat broccoli wad rubber band. It goes over your over your visor. Your trifold goes in it. When the cop pulls you over, you slip him your license, registration, and proof of insurance. There it is. Everything I have to provide by law is right there. Now, as I'm filming myself exactly like you saw, he says, "Hey, you know why didn't you pull over when I put my lights on?" I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent right away. Put it right in his face. If you get a trifle during this live stream, matter of fact, everybody can chime in. Did everybody who just ordered not get everything I sell for free? I sent out the first email. I got another email coming out. I got another email coming out with everything I sell for free. I need your order number. So put your order number down here in the chat. It doesn't matter if you get it or not. I'm going to check my backlog and I'm just going to send you guys everything I sell for free. I want you guys to have my products anyway. I want you to have them anyway. So if you spend $9 with me or $5 with me or $35 with me, I will send you everything else I sell for free via email right this second. Go to deletelaws.com, deletelaws.com with a Z and get your trifold. Please don't wait. Please don't be driving around without a trifold or the 5A cop card in your pocket. Do not talk to cops without having a guide in your hand and the phone in your other hand. This is how it works. You have your guide or your, you have your trifold or your 5A card in your left hand. You have in your right hand your phone. This is my power. People are like, I could never do that with cops. You bet your butt you could. If you understand the principles of liberty and what freedom actually means, you bet you can. When you stand on top of your rights, you stand on the backs of these jackboot thug pigs. Then they are upholding your rights as you check them. And that's why I check them. Because for years what they've done is they stuck their nightsticks up our backside instead of bowing down and letting us stand on them as they uphold our rights. That is what the functionality of government is supposed to do. The only reason we have government, and this is John Locke, Two Treaties of Government, 1690. The only reason we have government and the only reason we have laws is to uphold our rights. This comes directly from constitutional law scholar that I'll be teaching tomorrow. I've already written out my syllabus, so I'm trying to explain this to you. You have got to understand the principles of liberty. The first principle of liberty is that you're happy. Yeah, did you know that? I'll bet you didn't know that. People think life, liberty, life, liberty, happiness. They think that that is it. No, it's happiness first. 
And the way you get happiness is through liberty and education. These are the teachings of John Locke. I'm going to teach them tomorrow in great detail, in great detail. Everything I'm teaching you now about John Locke, you're going to learn again tomorrow. I'm going to teach you about the Enlightenment thinkers. I'm going to teach you the difference between Enlightenment thinkers and medieval thinkers. I'm going to teach you the huge difference between Descartes and Locke. I'm going to teach you how the founding fathers literally plagiarized three of John Locke's books. 1989, uh, 1689, Essays in Understanding Humanity, 1690, Two Treaties of Government, 1693, Some Thoughts on Education. If you have children and you have not listened to some thoughts on education, you are failing your children because of what you could learn from the teachings of John Locke's book in 1693. Put that in the comment section. Some thoughts on education. He wrote a, a thesis for his friend. John Locke was one of the biggest humanitarians there ever was. He helped people. Why do you think I do what I do? I, I've read so much of Locke. I'm such a fan that his entire life, his mission was to help other people. And along the way, it just so happened that he became a world-class famous philosopher. And what he did first was he helped someone who had a liver problem. He was a doctor and he figured out the proper potion to fix his liver ailment. It was, it was one of the, a, a, a big, he was a prince or a Dutch or whatever he was. And then after that, one of his friend's children, he couldn't, he had a hard time raising his son's child. So he sat and wrote him a bunch of letters. Those letters are now compiled in a thesis called Some Thoughts on Education. And that's what I've been searching. That's what I've been reading and, and researching and listening to lectures. And, you know, all I'm trying to do is be the best version of myself that I possibly can be. The, the, you want to be your avatar. You want to be the very top of what you are. And the very top of what you are means that I use my guides. You saw me do it. I have my trifold in my car. Put a one in the chat if you received a bunch of free stuff from me. Check your email, please, from Delete Laws. A bunch of people ordered stuff. I sent you a bunch of free stuff. And there's more orders coming in, and I'll fill those in as we watch this next one. Go to DeleteLaws.com right now. If you order anything off my website, if you purchase anything, I will then send you everything I sell 100% for free during this live stream. I want you to get this trifold in your car, or I want you to get a 5A cop card and laminate it, the non-driver one that you keep in your wallet. So when the cop comes up and says, give me some ID, you flip it over and say, number four says that you only get ID with probable cause. I don't have a 5A cop card with me right here. I apologize. Let's check the, uh, let's, let me see if this is uploaded yet. I got my next batch of free stuff ready to go out. I will check the, I will check the order list in one second. I don't even think you guys need to put order numbers in there, but go ahead and put it in. If you have an order number, go ahead and put it in there. Let me see if this is going to play for us. So this is still processing right now. This is just processing through. So give me just one second. Let me, let me refresh it and see if it'll go through for us because I really want you guys to see this video. This is absolutely amazing what you guys are going to see. This is, you guys are going to see the people of this town get divided right in half. Half of the people now agree with me. What? What? Yes. Half of the people in America, when I say that's a jackboot thug pig, half of people agree with me. Which, let me just tell you something, 13 years ago or so, I made a video, and my family, my mom, my sisters, my brother, my cousins, they all begged me, please take that down, please. It was called the AAO, the Authority Accountability Office. I had written a new organization that would be a third party, I guess it was about, I guess it was about 15 years ago or 16 years ago, but I did the whole thing. I brought in a guy for production and we shot a whole thing on a train track and we shot this thing. And it was only a two or three minute video where I sat there and I espoused over and over and over again that we absolutely need a third party over the top of cops. And I called it the AAL authority accountability office. I wonder if I still have that video. I don't know if I do. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Cope dog and dog is in the house. What's going on, Michael Dolan? Grateful dabs. How are you, Armando? Good to see you guys. Everybody, Rachel Putney's in the room. What is going on, Rachel? Rachel, you didn't have to buy anything. I would have sent you something no matter what. I'm a huge fan. Thank you for coming by my live stream. God bless you. God bless you and the work you're doing. Everybody, get over, subscribe. Uh, Wanda, you were supposed to email me a video. Wanda, Wanda Mees, if you would please email me a video. I'm going to cover one of your videos today. <laughs> Wanda, make sure you email me a video, delete laws at Gmail. Rachel Putney is in the room, everybody. Rachel Putney is a is a, a new activist on the scene. Absolutely. I am just 
I'm so, thank you so much for coming by my live stream. I am like, you can see my face. I'm a little flush. Thank you so much for coming by. I love Rachel. I've never got to really meet her and talk with her yet. Um, you guys right now, get your order in at the end of this live stream. I'm sending everything I sell for free. Go to deletelaws.com. You have to purchase one thing, buy one thing, and I'll sell, I'll give you everything else I sell for free in email. You guys can chime in. I, I sent about 15 people just now a bunch of free stuff. I guess it was 11, 11 people. Yep, 11 people. I got 11 people who ordered some stuff, and I'm sending you all free stuff right now. A bunch of free stuff. Jack just came in. Enil just came in. Rachel, Luis, Hiram, George, Adam, Glenn. Gerald, Brent, thank you guys so much. And and the list the list keeps going. Rakish, John. Uh, John, you got to purchase something. Thanks for coming by, though, man. Carlos, William, Juan, Gordon, Christopher. I mean, uh, Shannon, Doug, Michael. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And listen, when you get the digital trifold that I email to you for $9, right? It is no skin off my back for you to print out 50 of those and give them all to your friends and family. That's how badly I want you to use my trifold. I don't care if you print them out and give them away to your friends and family. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What I want is your video when the cop pulled over your cousin and you gave him a free trifold. He invoked his Fifth Amendment right and he spanked that bad pig like a bad, 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 bad pig. <laughs> so it's a giveaway today. I'm giving away all my products for free. You have to order one thing and I'll give you all my products for free. I'm looking at the back end right now. I want to make sure that everybody has a trifold in their car. It matters. It, it matters. Okay. Let's check out Wanda's video. Thank you, hon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okie dokie. Oh, that's, I don't, I don't have that from, there is Wanda right there. Okay. So we're going to check out a video right now. We're going to come back to, we're going to come back to the press with ranker, uh, County commissioner meeting. And you guys don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. This is the most intense interaction that I've had in a council meeting ever. And you guys saw the Forney city council meeting that blew up and I ended up having a back and forth with a pig in the hallway and they were trying to intimidate me. And I backed them down. You don't intimidate me, bro. I can stand on my rights. I'm right here at the city council meeting. This is the place I'm allowed to redress you. And that's exactly what I will do. If you speak up in front of me, I have something to say to you. And since I know about John Locke, the first principle of liberty is what? Your right to speak. You're born screaming. Ah, you're born into the world. If someone takes away your right to speak, F them. F them. You get to talk. You're important enough. You matter. Your voice matters. You should get to add your voice to the marketplace of ideas. That's what it is. I'm adding my voice to the marketplace of ideas. And what am I telling you? Use your script, use your trifold, use your camera, use your 5A card and invoke your rights on camera. That is the game changer. That's why you guys see me doing things you've never seen anybody else do. I get out of the car and I tell them, no, I'm in charge here. Have you ever heard anybody else do that? They get out of their vehicle. Cop says, get back in. He says, uh-uh, I'm your boss. Put a one in the chat if you've never seen that before. Why can I do that? Because I understand the principles of liberty and the entire policy of detainment is based on that I agree to stay in this area. You want to Terry Pat me? Go ahead, Terry Pat me. I don't have any weapons. I'll pull my shirt up and I'll show you. I don't have any weapons. You have to understand the principles of liberty. And if you sit here and watch Constitutional Law Scholars starting tomorrow, you will go, oh my God, I had no idea that happiness is part of John Locke's teachings of liberty. Did you know that? It's not just life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The founding fathers just put that up there. Oh, it sounds good. No, no, no. They plagiarized John Locke's teachings exactly word for word. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Happiness is John Locke's thing. He teaches in... S and some thoughts on education, John Locke teaches that the, the first thing you should get your kid doing, your baby doing is dancing. Yes, dancing. And you say, why would, why, why would dancing be so important? Let me tell you something. If, if your kid knows how to dance, it is a game changer. I'm going to, I'll show you a 20 second clip here of how important dancing is, what dancing actually does for children. This is, this is, I was, I, I actually was so funny because I was recording this when that jackboot thug pig uh, pulled me over. 
So let me airdrop this real quick to myself. You guys order right now on my website, deletelaws.com, and I'll get your order number and I'll give you everything else I sell for free. You got to buy one thing, but, you, but if you do, then I'll give you everything else I sell 100% for free. So let's check out Wanda's video. Let's everybody jump into this. This should be pretty good. I, I think I've already seen this one. Let me make sure I have it done correctly. There that is. Now let's check out a couple minutes of Wanda's video and then I'm gonna do a giveaway after this. So you can check your email. If you ordered something from me, check your email right now and come in the chat and let me know if you got exactly what I sent to you. So here it is. This is Wanda's video. That since uh, the post office is no longer part of my court case, is that trespass still valid or not? Since you guys are the ones who enforce the trespass. Or the ones that apply the, the trespass, the post office is the people you have to talk to to unapply it. Well, you guys enforced it. Yes, we did. We do enforce it. It was an unlawful enforcement. Okay, so you need to get a lawyer or something, but we're not handling that here. We don't handle that here. Well, you guys don't handle anything good here. <laughs> You're all a bunch of pieces of shit. That's Appreciate what you are. that. You have a yeah, nice I'm day, sure sir. you do appreciate that. Have a guy, nice day. I need some officer complaint forms. No. Ten of them, bitch. <laughs> hey, fat fuck. Do your job. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too, bald boy. You little bitch. Do you blame him? Do you blame him? Flip me off. Exactly. He has the right. He is a special kind of stupid. He has the right to go over and film anything his eyes can see. So this is going to be, I want you guys to understand what's happening here. In a case in 1971 called Coolidge versus New Hampshire. This is where a guy killed another person and he was overlooking the gas station. Coolidge was, and he went down to the gas station, killed someone, went back up to his house. Now, when they got a search warrant for his house, they didn't get specifically a search warrant for anything that they see. They were looking for specific places. The Fourth Amendment says um, no, no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. This is the Fourth Amendment from 1793 ratified. So then in 1971 in Coolidge versus New Hampshire, what happened was they went and got a search warrant for Coolidge's house, but they didn't specifically say they were looking for this type of gun. And so when they went into Coolidge's house, the gun was sitting right there on the couch, but they didn't have a warrant for it. And I believe the gun was dismissed, if I, my memory serves me correctly. So then what happens is the FBI creates a doctrine called the Plain View Doctrine. And by 1979, I believe, the FBI had infiltrated our freedoms by saying, if it's in plain view, then we can prosecute you, persecute you and arrest you for it. So that means if you have some weed sitting out, if you have, if you have a pipe sitting out that could be contraband, that gives them reasonable, articulable suspicion. So it, it, it adds more to Terry versus Ohio is what it does. And we don't want that. We don't, we don't want more Terry versus Ohio. We want less Terry versus Ohio. Fat motherfucker. I agree with that. Rosa, got you right here, Rosa. Got you, Glenn. Coming through, Glenn. I'll just try to get help from one of your officers. He flipped me off. I need 10 officer complaint forms. 10. Let me, I'm going to go inside and talk to the supervisor. I didn't turn these in, okay? All right. I'll be out here. I'll let, him know that, I'll let the supervisor know you're out here, okay? All right. Appreciate that. Yeah. George. And I was trying to find out if my trespass was still in force at the post office or not. Okay. Appreciate you.
Luis, got you coming. Hiram. Rachel. Always on some nonsense. Huh? Do what? No, they unlawfully trespassed me. I got arrested for videoing at a post office. So I'm currently going to court over that. And there were 10 officers involved in my arrest, and all I was doing was videoing in public. Inside the post office, seeing how the post office treats the people coming in for service, making sure they're respectful and getting them in and out in a hurry. Just some government accountability, that's all. Doing God's work, actually. Standing up for our rights. I appreciate you. Thank you. Looks like a douchebag. I agree with you there. Thank you for standing up for us. I appreciate that. William. The problem is these cops, they don't understand our rights. They don't know the law. That's right. I mean, I've even had officers pull out the book on citations and infractions and misquote an infraction. Yep. This is the only job in America that you can get, and you don't have to know your job. That's right. <laughs> that is so funny. The fact right there. He's nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. Yeah, I don't have any money. All my money is on a card. I understand that, brother. I understand that. Things are tough all over for everybody. It's not easy. It is not easy, especially being a freedom fighter like this gentleman's doing right here. Support this man. Support what he's doing. He's fighting for your rights. He's fighting for my rights. He's fighting for our rights. Support this man. Fat piece of shit coming back again. Yes, he is. He's just a piece of shit. A lot of people. No complaint for us for you. We don't have him here. You have to go to the city county building. You flip me off. Huh. You like that, you fat fuck? Huh? You like flipping me off, you fat fuck? I don't know fuck? what you're talking about, sir. Oh, I got you on video flipping me I off, got you, you on fat video fuck. Too, so. I don't give a fuck. Rodriguez? Huh. Yes, sir. That's my name. That'll be another officer complaint. Okay. You do that. For being a piece of shit to the fucking citizens, you fat bastard. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't have to. Sir, you have to. This, the complaint forms are going to be down at the city county building, okay? Who's the higher up? Where's the fucking lieutenant at? You guys don't have a lieutenant here? We do. All you sergeants are pieces of shit. Especially okay. John Constable. You know that dumb fuck? Yeah, he's yeah. a too. He's a piece of shit, too. Yes, okay. probably. You fucking fit right along with him. Fuck, you guys could be brothers. Yep. You guys could even be butt buddies for all I know. Yep. yep. Fuck off. Yep. Hey, Give me a lieutenant, uh, will you? Uh, no. 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 Here's the thing, man. Hey, of course me. not. No. Have a nice day. He's going to leave. Yeah, fuck you, too. Exactly. Fuck you, too. Exactly. You don't like oh, wait, my freedom of speech? Okay. Fuck hey, you too. Listen, here, listen. Exactly. You're not me, right? I was. Well, no, I, I said I was you didn't flip me off like okay. this fucking piece well, of shit. Did. Hey, you want to you want to fill out the complaint forms? Yes, I want to fill out the, the complaint go forms. Go to the city county building. Let me show you what I got here. You have complaint forms? No, oh. I've got thirty tort claims because I'm about to file the fucking tort claims galore on your fucking dumbass police department okay. for my unlawful arrest, the theft of my property, yeah, kidnapping. Yes. yes. You guys are fucking getting wrong through the ringer, you dumb bitches. Hey. I'm gonna <laughs> hold on. I'm a, I, I don't want the stream to get demonetized, but um, so uh, put a one in the chat if you just received a bunch of free stuff from me. I just sent off 20 people free stuff, and then I sent off also uh, some people asked for free trifolds, they said they didn't have any money, and I sent you everything I sell for free because I want you guys to have the trifold in your car. I want you to have the 5A cop card in your wallet. Get the one that is paper, print it out, go laminate it, put it in your card. The real credit card version's coming out. I'm doing a giveaway right now. And for Wanda, just so you know, it's really hard to stop cursing on film. You should try though, because uh, 
uh, they they will demonetize your stream a lot. They'll they'll do all kinds of stuff. So these people have received their free stuff. Thank you so much for ordering anything from me. Thank you for trusting me with your freedom because you've got to learn to invoke your Fifth Amendment right. This is a giveaway I'm doing today. If you order anything off my website, go to deletelaws.com. If you order absolutely anything, one thing, you gotta you gotta sp spend at least a dollar. If you buy one thing off my website, I will then send you everything else I sell for free. Go to deletelaws.com. I want you to get the trifold in your car. I want you to have the 5A cop card in your car. This is a giveaway today. Uh, Wanda, great video. I, I'm just going to take a pause here on this one because I don't want, but let me drop the link in the chat right here. I want everybody to go subscribe to Wanda. I'm going to put his link in the chat right here. Here it is. Bam. There it is. Now everybody can see it. I want you guys to go subscribe. And you guys, just so you know, sometimes I call people fat too. Truth be told, I come from a morbidly obese family. Um, a lot of people in my family are really overweight. I, I made the choice to fight back against the fat gene that lives inside of me. You guys have seen sometimes I get really puffy. I can gain 20 or 30 pounds in just a couple weeks. So it's it's tough not to judge a pig as being a pig. At the same time, though, I just want to let everybody know if you've ever heard me say anything like that, um, you know, I, I there's a fat guy in me dying to get out. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just take a tiny little break on Wanda and we're going to come back to you, Wanda, another time. But um, you should really try to get the language under control. I know it's hard. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what the YouTube censors are doing to us. I agree. You should be able to say, you farfig nugan fard. You guys see on camera here talking with you guys, I don't curse. I curse in text messages. I'll curse in real life past the effing potatoes. You know, I don't think there's anything ra wrong with bad language. I just feel like um, the YouTube censors will absolutely screw us over. Got you, Rick. I'll be sending you guys a bunch of more free stuff right now. I want you to watch the rest of the city council meeting. Let me share this with you guys right now so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. Here it is right here. So remember, this is the mother of a pig, of a retired pig. You're looking at her right there. This woman is going to be the catalyst for the entire blow up because the cop, when I say something to her, when I say your, your son was a pig, the ex-cop then comes up to me and you got the free stuff, William? Right on. You guys order anything off my website and I'll send you everything I sell for free right now. And by the way, William, print out that poster I sent you. It costs like 30 bucks at Kinko's. Go print out that poster. Put it on your wall. People will stand around and talk about it for hours. There's so much information on that poster. And all you got to do is get one thing and I'll send you everything else I sell for free. I would recommend you get the indestructible trifold because you can have it in your car forever and ever because then I'm going to send you the digital one anyway that you can print out and give to your friends and family. And, and I don't mind one bit. It's no, you're not hurting my business. I don't give a damn. I want you to have the trifold. I don't give a damn if your cousin didn't buy it. I don't care. Let me show you how much I care. It's right there. It's zero. All right. Now let's check out, let's check out press with rankers video. Let me just tell you something. Is press in here? Let me see if I can highlight one of his comments. Uh, Garrett, uh, Garrett, my friend, probably one of the best things I ever did in my life so far was meet you. Garrett Vanette is salt of the earth. Garrett Vanette is my friend and I respect him. And I'm so happy that I have another friend in the world. I could literally get teary eyed, but I'm so happy I met this guy. He is so genuine and so real. And in a world full of fakes and frauds, it was so nice to meet you, Garrett. You're my buddy, man, and I'm yours. If you ever need anything from me, I'm there. And I'm coming back for Garrett's trial in December because I'm going to let, well, you guys are going to find out right here. I'm going to let that prosecutor, Lauren Wickman, know, Lauren, I'm going to be campaigning against you, honey bunny. I'm going to find someone in that county to run against you, and I'm going to promote them on my channel. I'm going to have other auditors and activists promote them on my channel because you are a cop sucker. And we have to change the torture cuffs. Look, some people have to be restrained. I get it. Torture cuffs got to go. You get me, Lauren? Torture cuffs got to go. Your status quo. You're prosecuting Garrett for a felony for holding a camera. I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to tolerate it, you jackboot thug pig. I'm not going to put up with it. Let's get into this. Who do you call when you need help? Not them. Who? No, no, How no, dare you? How, How dare you? She sounds like Greta, doesn't she? You won't intimidate me. <laughs> doesn't she sound like Greta Thornburg? <laughs> Didn't she sound like Greta Thornburg? How dare you? How dare you? She sounded just like Greta. Is that the kind of liberal you have over there in Michigan? Because the classical liberal like I am, we don't, you know, how dare you for having speech? 
honey. Come on, say anything. Please don't interact. I have a son who has served the public so honorably has not. as a police officer. Did not. And I was just sickened Did to not. hear everyone painted with the same brush. Yes, there are some that are awful, and I'm really sorry for the experience that your friend had. That shouldn't have happened. But think about this, and think about this long and hard. Who oh, no, no. Do you hear, hold on. I want to point something out to you guys that as I watched this back yesterday before I showed it to you, she says, I'm really sorry what happened to your friend, but who do we call when we need help? You don't call a jackboot thug pig into your life. She just dismissed with the cops the collusion of the Cole Tardif, Todd Tardif, and Paige Tardif. She, she just forgets about, I just said, everything he's done is on video. It's collusion. It's conspiracy. That's what it is. And she just goes, well, you know, just forget about that, though, because who do we call? You mean we shouldn't change the jackboot thug pig system in our country? We shouldn't change it? You know, whatever happened to Garrett is perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine because we need to call cops. That's her rationale. And I just want to point it out. I'll let you listen to it again. Sorry for the experience that your friend had. That shouldn't have happened. But oh, there it is. That your friend had. That shouldn't have happened. But yes, there are some that are awful. And I'm yes, there are some that are awful that we can't get rid of them and they ruin people's lives every day. Don't gloss over it, Tootsie Pop. There's people who ruin people's lives every day and they're called cops. And we just gloss right over it. Forget about these horrible people that ruin people's lives. Think about we have to call them again. I'm really sorry for the experience that your friend had. That shouldn't have happened. But Think about this and think about this long and hard. Who do you call when you need help? Who do you call when you need help? And I really resent the fact sitting here and knowing the experiences that my son had and how many people he helped and the lives that he saved putting his own in jeopardy. Lies. And please think long and hard before you group everyone in the same category. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. It's going to go are boom. Get ready. He ruined. General public comment. I'm sorry. What did you say please, to me? Say the lies he ruined. Sir, can you please have a seat? Thank you. Dave, never Dave, don't. Go ahead. If you want to be escorted out, please follow the rules and go for it. It's not that Dave, hard to be, to not do be a Do what you're going to do, Dave. I'm not going to do anything. Do what you're gonna do I'm just meeting. trying to talk to you like Why? a man. I'm not standing up over you. Please be seated. Go piss on yourself. Please be seated. Hey. Go to hell. Hey. Both you will. Recess That's the enough. meeting if you can. Get him out. He's not following the rules. If nobody is right now. Oh, okay. Right? Please refrain from speaking to the speaker during quiet. I appreciate it. General public comment. It's not over. It's not. It's just getting started. Christine Williams, Fort River Township. Uh, I'm going to summarize some of uh, Representative Dave Preston's words. So she doesn't say anything about what we're talking about right now. So I'm just going to run through her real quick. Appreciate her her commentary though. Thank you for speaking up publicly. Now here comes Dave, the ex cop. Look at him. Look at him. What a beta male. Look at him. Thank you, sir. Most of you know me. Um, those of us who know you know that you put people in torture cuffs and you're an executioner, bro. Retired. I didn't want to come to these meetings. Bet you didn't. After what I saw, public media, social media, talking to a couple other people, interviewing some of the folks involved. That's how I came to be involved in this situation. And I've known Commissioner Moyle longer than I can remember. It was practically family. But it seems particular to me, and I don't like saying this, but every time... There's an issue, your perceived enemy, someone shows up to attack them. Um, oh, he says that. Here. We talk about tyrannical behavior. There's only one character that's. Been so listen to what he says here to this guy, Dave, a guy named Dave Moyle, who they thought that I knew that I had no idea who he was before I got there. Listen to what he says. It's particular to me, and I don't like saying this, but every time. And I've known Commissioner Moyle. So he's known Dave Moyle forever. They're practically family. But longer than I can remember, it was practically family. 
but it seems particular to me, and I don't like saying this, but every time there's an issue, your perceived enemy, someone shows up to attack them. Oh, so Lauren Wick, Lauren Wickman is one of Dave Moyle's enemies, and I came there to stand up for Garrett. So obviously it was Dave Moyle who sent me there. Everybody here knows that I have no idea who David Moyle is. I know who he is now, but I had no idea when I went there. Um, there's a common denominator here. We talk about tyrannical behavior. There's only one character that's been charged with harassing and stalking a political opponent. There's a common denominator when it comes to the airport. Got you, Philip. When it comes to... This man can get home and being swatted by the state police. Swatted. And all of a sudden, these gentlemen show up. And um, I don't like what I see. And we talk about decorum in the board, rewriting the rules. I hope to goodness that when we rewrite those decorum and rules, that we rewrite the ethics policy. It was a good policy, clearly defined what a violation was. And as Nancy so graciously stated, it did not say Commissioner Barron had to recuse himself. When the gentleman from the city stood up and said he wrote their policy, and that was absolutely insane that it didn't call for that person with a direct conflict of interest to recuse themselves. Granted, that shouldn't be the case. If you have a conflict of interest, the honorable thing would do to be to recuse yourself. Got you, Donald. When we talk about conducting the business of the public. I'm just concerned that we seem to be looking at individuals, the land deal, it was a solar thing that all people stand to profit from. That does not seem like the business of the people. And if Keith's not going to talk, and I have an additional three minutes as well. Thank you, gentlemen, six minutes. So that would seem fair to me. So uh, I'm not sure. Of course he does. Cops blaming. I spoke for Garrett as his advocate, and then I spoke for myself for three minutes. But this pig doesn't know how to do math. What they're, I'd like to see their evidence, and we'll see how that goes. I have my doubts. Um, if anybody wants to talk smack to my mom, I prefer they just talk to me directly. I find talk smack to your mom? What are you talking about, bro? And irritating and irresponsible and immature, and just somebody trying to go to response. So my mother was right. You can't classify everybody in the same group. You know? No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold the phone. You're a jackboot thug pig. You signed up to the same policies and procedures that you're going to follow when you work for a pig shack. You can't say you can't brush us all with the same brush. Oh, the hell I can't. Do you carry torture cuffs on your side? Yes, you do. Do you put people in torture cuffs? Yes, you do. Do you arrest people off the street without a warrant? Yes, you do. Do you arrest people for nonviolent crimes? Yes, you do. Do you arrest people on a domestic call when one person says, oh, she pushed me or he pushed me? Look, he pushed me. No damage, no nothing. Do you arrest that person and take them to a dungeon? Yes, you do. You signed up to do the exact same policies and procedures that your jackboot thug pig shack decided was okay. And I personally, and along with thousands of others, re I absolutely revolt. I do not accept the status quo. I do not accept torture cuffs. I do not accept arresting people who are no threat to society and no threat to themselves. The dungeon, the jail system is for people who are going to hurt other people or are going to hurt themselves. And we must put them in a cage so they don't hurt other people. It's now become a solution for everything. Dave, you pig. Forgive me. Forgive me for being passionate about it. You don't get to put people in torture cuffs and say, you can't brush us all with the same brush. Yes, I can. And yes, I did. You're all exactly the same. What do you do? Put them in torture cuffs. Oh, so one jackboot thug pig is grabbing someone? Let me go help him. And you have no idea what happened, but yet you're so willing to jump in and help them because you're on the blue team, not black, not Hispanic, not Asian, not white. You're on the blue team. You've lost all color. You are a jackboot thug pig, Dave. And if you'd retired from being a pig in the last couple of years, that means you're a part of what happened when we ruined America. You're a part of that, Dave. You beta male chump. I'm going to walk up to him and confront him in a second. Wait till you see this. This goes into straight fire. Does that get you? We're all here. I got a few minutes. I'd love to tell a quote. And since the court seems to be out the window, yeah, you know, <coughs> it, it, uh, I know Mr. Barron's big on quotes, so I thought this might be good for him. It uh, comes from one of my favorite TV characters, the United States Deputy Marshal Raylan Gibbons. Kind of Cartoon like deputy. You ever notice how you run into a, I was going to say an asshole in the morning, you run into one, you run into one morning, noon, and night, you might be that person. Good day. Okay. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> Order, please. I'm not impressed, Dave. You give a weak ass speech, bro. General public comment. It gets worse. Just wait. It blows up in a second. I'm telling you, it does. I know it does. I was there. Got you, Karen. Kieran. So she tries to call for peace. It doesn't work out. She's a very nice lady, but she says she's not for the recall is what she says at the end of it. Cause that's Lauren Wickman. Lauren Wickman is the one pushing the recall, the prosecutor there. Thank you for having this opportunity. I heard a lot about the county forest. So he talks about the county forest right here. I'm going to jump forward to the, so I'm going to show you the guy that jumps in and stops the guy from trying to fight me. This guy tries to fight me and this gentleman jumps in and stops the fight. Guy General tries to attack me. I thought I was done talking. <laughs> no, this guy goes up and talks more about county business, about the gates. Hi, I'm Dana Van This I drunk, sloppy girl is about Central supporting Central Lauren Wickman. Central She's trying to support Lauren Wickman. She's a total fraud. These women, just so you know, these women sat behind me and tried to pretend like they were my buddies. Well, just so you know, I go to a lot of small towns. And as soon as I get there, you always get the albatross. You always get the one who's the plant that's trying to say, oh, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I was sitting next to press with Ranker and this woman leaned over and started telling me all these glowing things about me. Well, you know what? I know if you know my channel or not. I, I can tell just if you know anything about me. And she was trying to trying to buddy up to me. And this is one of her drunken friends who couldn't get her words out. I'm just telling you. There would not be. For I can't even speak. <laughs> They have a very crazy liberal faction there. So he gives, so, so Robert here gives his speech. Tell somebody online that I was. This picture right here. It was not taken Lansing. So let me just give you guys the lowdown real quick. Um, there is like a, a internal civil war going on in the upper peninsula of Michigan. The liberals there want to strip away your gun rights. They want to strip away your gun rights up there in the upper peninsula. Well, the upper peninsula, I'm from a peninsula in Alaska. We really like our guns. We like to, I have my gun right here. I carry my gun with me everywhere I go. So the liberals want to strip away your gun rights. And so what they're doing is they're targeting any males who support gun ownership. They're trying to get rid of any male leadership. And as you can see, the bunch of old hens behind me and Lauren Wickman, it's just giant power grab where the liberals, and these happen to be women liberals, but there's men liberals who are the same. And they're trying to strip away our second amendment right up there. That's the actual internal battle going up going on up there in the upper peninsula. So listen, I got another email coming out right now. If you order my trifold right now online, I'll email you everything I sell for free. Go to deletelaws.com right now. I'm sending everything else I sell for free. If you buy one thing from my website, I'll email you everything else. You got to print it out yourself, but I can't mail a bunch of stuff to you know 20 people. So go to the website right now and get your trifold and get it in your car. This is a giveaway. You buy one thing, put your order number in the comments here, and I will send you everything I sell for free. But that's the battle going on here. I want you guys to know what the actual score is. It's about gun rights. That's what's going on. On April 30th of 2020, it was in fact taken in Lansing, April 30th of 2014. This picture right here. Taken in 2014, right here is when Got you, Kieran. Um, I am not a member of the 3%. Never have been, even though I did tell somebody online that I was. <laughs> I did, but I'm not a member and I never have been, um, or any other militia for that matter. I am surely not a recruiter, like I was accused of online. I just thought the flag was interesting, so I took a picture of it. Liar. Right, she called him a liar. First warning and last warning. She called him a liar. I was no. not in Lansing during the protest of April 30th, 2020. That was during the COVID shutdown. I was actually right here in Escanaba. I know this because I made a withdrawal, cash withdrawal from my checking account on that exact day. I was also not involved in any attempt to kidnap our governor. This and many other lies have been told about not only myself, but Commissioner Moyle and Barron trying to build a case for recall. Yes, they're we trying to the recall those gentlemen. Because we fired the previous administrator. But as Christine Reynolds said, they were concerned about decisions we made prior to the meeting on February 7th. 
which was our third meeting. Uh, I wholeheartedly believe that the plan to recall us was in motion well before that night in February. We have been trying to keep our heads down, do our work for the last nine plus months, but this is getting out of hand when they start accusing us of felony criminal acts that we were never involved in. I'll be looking into what, if any, actions I can take on everyone and anyone that was up involved in this disgusting lie. So I want you to hear what he said right here. Ro listen to what Robert says right here. Plus months. But this is getting out of hand when they start accusing us of felony criminal acts. Okay, he said it's getting out of hand when they start accusing them of felony criminal acts. Robert, you know, you and I align on the Second Amendment for sure. When they start accusing you of felony acts, well, Robert, let me just remind you, they have charged Garrett Vanette with a felony for pointing his camera, for pointing his camera at a cop. And the Cole Tardif, Todd Tardif, and Paige Tardif, the entire family, one of the prosecutor's office, one of a, a senior pig, one a junior pig, have colluded against him with Lauren Wickman to prosecute him for a felony. Robert, you can feel the pressure of people saying that you committed a felony act. Now imagine how Garrett Van Nett feels being charged with a felony act, Robert. You guys got to get rid of Lauren Wickman because we're going to sue you. We're going to sue you. We are going to sue you. I guarantee it. You're getting sued. Your county's getting sued. I, I'm going to give them a little more time to get rid of Lauren Wickman and drop these charges. But then I already got a lawyer in Upper Michigan. So someone said something about me that I have this. I've got a team of people all around the country Everywhere I go, there's a new person ready to say, I want to help. If you're a lawyer in the upper Michigan or you're a paralegal in, in Michigan anywhere, contact me. We, we do round tables of people. We throw thoughts around with multiple groups of people. We're in touch with lawyers that I cannot even mention because it's not appropriate. But there's people I'm in touch with that we help every single day. Every day I'm on the phone making moves to help somebody. That's what my job is to do. I'm following in John Locke's footsteps. I will never be the man that John Locke was. I'm doing my best to even fill 100th of his shadow. The man was an absolute patriot. You have no idea. So Robert, you're being accused of a felony. Now imagine what it's like to be charged, sir. That we were never involved in. I'll be looking into what, if any, actions I can take on everyone and anyone that was up involved in this disgusting lie. Got you, Susan. And any other lies and baseless accusations that are made against me. I will no longer stand by and allow the people to slander my name just so they can take my place on this board. I am sure everyone that has heard me knows I am a staunch Second Amendment supporter. Co-founder and president of the County Gun Owners Association for approximately 10 years. I and several others go to Lansing most every year except 2020 to stand for our right, your right to keep and bear arms. Exactly. Of these events that I've participated in have been peaceful and well-organized with many congressmen and law professionals joining the event. I again attended the meeting on October 5th, the March on October 5th, I, at absolutely no cost to the county. And I will continue to attend these events until there is no need because our rights are no longer under attack. Exactly. I proudly support and will continue to fight for the Second Amendment rights. Me too. And all other issues pertaining to this county. If these people are okay with lying about some things, something as egregious as me being involved in a riot at the state capitol and a plot to uh, kidnap our governor of Michigan, do you think they would have a problem lying about lesser issues? No, they would not. They'll lie this about anything to strip our gun rights. By a member of the recall petition. It says proud white nationalists. My That's God. A picture of me with black X's drawn through my eyes. Can you hold that up again? Sure can. Please. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I want to see how they're demonizing um, him. If this is what we've got to deal with being county commissioners, I guess that's what we have to deal with. But I think it's, uh, I think it's foul that you, that people would put out such a It's thing, foul. Something, something that's so easily disproven that I would be a part of a, a, a riot in Lansing. I would be a part of a kidnapping plot. The hens so, behind me are handing me information, so I'm looking at it. the case, it would have been all over the newspapers. It would have been all over the internet. It would have been all over the news, and I would be set, would have been set in jail for at least, I think these other people have been set in jail for about a year. 
before we even heard of this. Stay out of the discussion, please. Your time is coming on. Trying to kick me out. Yes, You're out of order. <laughs> exactly. It gets crazy right here. Recess this, and you can be escorted out if you like. It gets please crazy. Be quiet. You are stopping the work of the people being done. Yes, she is. Stop interrupting the work of the people, please. You've had your chance to speak. Commissioner Peterson is now speaking. Continue, sir. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Commissioner Pugh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, what a county we have. We try to do this in any other country. He's just happy we have the freedom to fight with each other about about politics. So that's what he says here. He doesn't really say anything, but I want to get to where it really explodes on it on you guys, where it just comes undone. So that's Dave Moyle right there. I've met Dave Moyle now, but I never knew who this man was before I went to the Upper Peninsula. I had no idea who he was. And his his enemies accused me of being his friend, and I never had met him. I didn't even know his name. You can, you can take a motion. I'm allowed to, to, to bring up the motion. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get to the fire. Let's get to the adjournment of this meeting. Let's get to the adjournment of this meeting because it goes straight haywire. You can't hear them very well either, so I want to get to the end of this meeting. He speaks and then she says a couple agenda items and then the meeting's over and that's when the fireworks really begin. So let me jump to that real fast. Uh, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's, he's been charged. You are out of order, please. The felony. You are out of order, ma'am. So these so, uh, out of order. You're out of order, please. These women right here are the Lauren Wickman supporters. These are the liberals, the, the crazy liberals. You know, I mean, I, I, I identify as a classic liberal and as a conservative. So, you know, the classic liberal moniker that I wore for years, I still have my classical liberal philosophies like freedom of speech. I, I may not agree with you have to say, but I'll die for you to be able to say it. That's the classic liberal. This new liberal wants to take away your speech, take away your guns, take away your rights. Doesn't matter. Uh, he's he's been charged. You are out of order, please. The felony. You are out of order, ma'am. So um, that is no longer. Uh, I don't know how that applies. Um, in <laughs> reference to uh, people disagreeing with each other, I think that's where democracy begins. Unfortunately, some people don't think that the when I talk about decorum, I don't encourage anyone to. Whether you believe it or not, I have never encouraged anyone to. Uh, belittle or attack somebody else on my behalf. What I sought when I sought an opinion from Attorney Graham, the board meetings, as noted by many in the public, were getting out of hand. So check your email, everybody. Question of check your how email. They conduct county business or the people's business at public meetings when people are attending, and they become so unruly that conducting the business of the people is impossible. The board is ordered by both state law and by its own rules and procedures to conduct county business. The public wants and needs to have county business conducted. Recently, the board has faced the question of questions whether those attending public meetings may hold the county basically hostage by their actions if they do not capitulate with the quorum. Uh, the question has been raised how much, how long should we let that go? One meeting, five meetings, 10 meetings indefinitely. The point of the situation is this whether you like this board or not, it has been put up here by the public to do the work of the people. And so we have a procedure. It's not the chairman throwing somebody out because you disagree with me. The chairman doesn't have that power. The board will ask someone to come to order. The chairman will do that for the board. After several warnings, it's going to go the boom. Can be asked to leave the meeting if they are stopping the work of the people from being done. Now that person can appeal that. There would be a straight up or down vote from this board. The chairman doesn't have the power to throw somebody out of the meeting. The board could either support the ruling that that person is out of order or overrule the chairman. That's a policy that the federal government has backed numerous uh, municipalities and counties because the work of the people must be done. That is why we have uh, asked for this policy. And I found out today that uh, our sheriff likes the policy and he's going to be giving it out to townships who can choose to use this for their meetings so his deputies know what policy is and if this was a train wreck of a policy, you wouldn't have uh, the sheriff wanting to pass this out at the township level. 
So this is a lot of hurt feelings. You like this board or not, getting the work of the people done. But let's say why they don't like the board. Let's be honest about why they don't like the board. It's been a long 40, 45 years. Always considered Dave and his family family. Um, With that, whether I like what you have to say or not, I'm glad you came to the meetings. Did you hear what Dave just said? Whether I like what you have to say or not, thank you for coming to the meeting. Whether I like what you have to say or not, I'm glad you came to the meetings. There it is. I may not agree with what you have to say, but I'll die for your right to be able to say it. Put that in the chat. The left, the right. Thank you very much. Uh, we will have another meeting. He's a horrible person. Here's we're not going to win re-election. Okay. Okay. So by the way, this is the, let me, let me say a couple of things real fast before I really get into the, the absolute crazy, crazy craziness of what you're about to see. But I, I want to just let you guys know. So to this woman here, um, pretty much everywhere I go, um, I am what I am. Uh, Anthony, check your email. I think that I, I sent you, I sent a bunch of free stuff off just now. You guys check your email. If you ordered anything during this live stream so far, check your email, please. I sent off everything for free. If you ordered anything from my site, I sent you things for free. This is a giveaway today. If you order anything off my, my website, deletelaws.com, I want you to get the trifold in your car. I will then email you everything I sell for free. I want you to get the trifold in your car or the 5A cop card. You'll have to laminate it until the real card comes out, but I want you to get the trifold in your car and I'm willing to give you everything I sell for free for any purchase, any purchase. I don't care what you buy. I would recommend you get the indestructible trifold because we ship it from California and it's awesome. But I just want you to get the trifold in your car because as soon as you buy this one, I'm going to send you the digital one for free so you can give it away to your friends and family. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. You're not hurting my business. I appreciate you doing it. I appreciate you spreading the word that we invoke our Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. So I'm actually... Check your email right now. Put in the chat right now. If I sent you a bunch of stuff for free, put in the chat right now, please. If I sent you a bunch of stuff for free. Now, I'm, I kind of target this woman because wherever I go, people stare at me. It doesn't matter where I go. As soon as I put on my leadership cloak, everybody stares at me. And when I went into this meeting, everybody was staring at me. Every time I turned around, someone was staring at me. Well, this woman was staring at me and I thought it was Lauren Wickman. To the woman who I was eagle eyeing, I'm really sorry. I apologize to you. <laughs> Garrett and I laughed about this before I left Michigan. I am really sorry I targeted you, hun. I did not mean to give you my stank eye. <laughs> I apologize. I am so sorry. Um, make sure you guys get in on this free giveaway today. I'm only doing this, I'm only doing this during my live stream. If you order anything off my website, put your order number in the chat. I'll be looking on the back end and let other people know that you got your your free product. Oh, right on, right on. Super appreciate it. Okay, now get ready because this goes kaboom. This goes, it's in your, it was in your spam folder, Rachel. Okay. Yeah. I sent you everything for free. If you buy one thing from my site, I will send you everything I sell for free. I'm not Lauren Wickman. Who's Lauren Wickman? You're not going to win re-election. I'm not Lauren Wickman. Who's Lauren Wickman? (laughs) I'm so sorry to you, hon. I'm so sorry. I thought you were, you were staring at me. I thought you were her. (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I, she's not going to win re-election. She's, she's a horrible person. I know a lot. I, I, I'm, That's I know, I know good. A lot. I know it's, a lot. Where's the pig at? There's the pig. Hey, pig. Where's you? You're not so tough with you. You're bad in your gun anymore, are you? Not so tough anymore, are you? Came up, got in my face. You're no match for me, bro. Don't even try it. Oh yeah. You're here to listen. Oh yeah. To this Let me tell you something. You're, you're, you're from Lauren Wickman. Why are you still like this? You are a human being, bro. You're not tough at all. With your badge and gun, you got no badge and gun. You're a wuss. Don't get in my face, punk. Oh, he, 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 he tries to push me. Don't get in my ass. I just came over to talk to you. It's off. My back is turned. My back is turned. He tries to push me. Oh no, no, no. Where I go, cops get fired. Where I go, cops get fired. You would have been fired. Your dad's a pig. Your dad is a pig. A I don't care. But so you're not so tough so anymore. When you came over, so did you intimidate me? Did you not insult so Why did you insult my mother? She's going to speak. I'm going to address her. Yeah, if you just speak, you'll be addressed. You're just if you speak, asshole. you will be addressed. But you're, but you're not so tough. Why are you still here so filming me? You're not, you're not did, when did Dave Boyle invite you? I'm just saying, you walked over there. I thought him and Dave were like friends. I never met him. 
I came here to represent this guy as an advocate. And how do you know him? You're because not acting he, like an because advocate. He's you are, you're acting me. like a dude. You, you came to over and got in my face and told me what he Who's in my said, face? You're not so tough, are you? Who's in my my face? back is turned to you, so I'm not going to get this. Let's make no, why don't you guys just go outside and keep going? Shut up. Nobody wants to. Shut, 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 shut your mouth, dude. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, dude. I'm standing on the side. Shut your mouth. Don't get in my face and think you're tough. Well, we came over and got in my face. Honey. I'll be back here, honey. I'm coming back December. You're in my face. My back is turned to you, so I'm in your face. Do you not see my back turned to you? My back is turned to you? You just act like a tough guy, and I just want you to know, without the badge and gun, you're nothing but a wussy. I just want you to know that. You're nothing but a wussy. And I thought it was You're not going to get a response. You need your badge and gun. You're not going to get a response. Gun. You better go get your badge and gun. You're not going to get that response. You're a total wuss. I'm a good man. You're not, you're a, not a good man. man. You're ruining people's you're lives. Good guy. Thank you, you for ruining people's lives. You ruined so many good lives. Good it's Have a nice day, sir. You're a jack. Thank you for being a good man. Shut up, Dave. I'm just not just telling you, dude. Get your hand off my camera, lady. Hey, like, I appreciate like, the feedback, gentlemen. Yeah. Shut up. It's always good to get nice, respective feedback. So. I'm not. I don't respect you at all. I don't respect you. I don't respect you even I'm slightly. Even I, don't even you kind of. I don't even kind of respect you. You are a pig, dude. Hey, you are thank you for noticing. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know, bro. I'm just letting you know. Have a nice day. Don't don't act like you're a good person. You're not. You ruin people's lives. Have a nice day. You ruin people's lives. I'm calling the truth out. Oh, dude, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back to campaign against Lauren Wickman. Good. That's what I'll be back to do. Well, I'll be glad to I don't you. stop ever. Good. I never stop. Thank you for I coming. never we don't stop. stop. I never back down. I, 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 yeah. Did you? Did, what about the video of him getting harassed and stalked by cops? You don't care about that. You care about calling I, I, my dad I, I, a pig? I think your dad's he tries a to attack pig, bro. Are you really? Are you really? Get off me, bro. Get off me, bro. He tries to fight me. Don't do it. Get off. Keep on. Hey, hey, he just he just attacked me. Hey, you want to attack me? He's attacking me. Do it. Go ahead. He's pushing me. He's shoving me. See my feet? He's attacking me. He's attacking me. Oh, who's going to jail? You're not a pig anymore, bro. Back up. Don't put your hands on me. He's, he's, he's not allowed to put his hands on me. He started. I don't care. I didn't start physical. Thank around. you to that gentleman right there. This gentleman right here, don't I want to thank him. He's not allowed to put his hands on me. That gentleman right there, I, I'd like to take a second, and I'm just going to pause for one second here. Uh, that gentleman right there, I'd like to thank him. Thank you for coming to my aid. I will not throw a punch. I will not fight anybody. If you think I'm going to fight you on the street, you're wrong. If you come and assault me, Remember, I'm carrying, I have a gun. So don't come and assault me on the street because if you assault me on the street and I have a gun, I will defend myself. I don't want to fist fight anybody in the street. This gentleman right here in the hat, when the other, you guys saw the gentleman attack me. When he attacked me, the gentleman in the hat came flying in and literally pushed him off of me because he was pushing me and shoving me and pushing me. And I had two cameras in my hand and I'm not going to fight somebody. You, I tell you right now, team DLZ, I will never punch anybody. I am. I mean, not never. If I start to get struck by a stranger, I may strike back, but more than likely I'll probably run because I've been in so many fist fights. You're not going to knock me out, bro. I'm going to roll with it. You're not going to knock me out. So I don't want to fist fight anybody. I know that I'm a tough guy. I know that I tell you that I'm a tough guy and I am, but I'm also damn near 50 years old. We don't fist fight at city council meetings or commissioner meetings. We don't fist fight each other to solve our problems. That doesn't work. You might as well sign up to be a jackboot thug pig. So a special thank you to this gentleman. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And so I just want to, I just want to say thank you to him real quick. And then let's keep watching this because this, it's not over. The cops come, the cops come and it gets even more hairy. He, he started. I don't care. I what didn't start the physical interaction. Right, ma'am. Right there. You guys, everything's on camera, Jack. Cause this kind of disruption. No, I'm I here to get justice. Happy. Look at the you're videos of this happy. guy being stalked and arrested. What does that have to do with us? You represent the pigs, bro. That's what you represent. Thank you. And and you do. Expose you, you who do. you really are. Why don't you look no, at no. what they do, lady? Look at what they do. They're terrible. Yeah, They're nobody, terrible. Look, don't Thank you for stopping that man from attacking me. Just go away, guys. No, you go away, bro. I'm just letting you know. What about the videos of him being stalked and harassed? What about those? Do we care at all about what he's gone through? That's why I'm here. I didn't come here to fight that guy. He just ran into me. I'm sure camera. that's what happened. It's a felony for holding the camera. He's being charged with a felony for holding the camera. Do you care about that? They want to put well, I don't want to fight anybody. The Thank you. What, so then what about him being what about him being arrested? What is that a felony for holding the camera. You're the, you Let me explain something to you. You know, why are you so mad about background checks? Because 
I'm not sure if you know about a gentleman named Matt Hoover who's in prison right now, just got sentenced to five years. He got four, four, about five years in prison. He just got sentenced to. When you sign up to a government registry of where the guns are, they come to your home. And I never knew that John Locke taught the principles of liberty that you have to sign up to government to have your rights. Maybe you don't know about John Locke's teachings on liberty. I'll be teaching them tomorrow. So maybe you should tune in tomorrow. I don't need to sign up with the government agency for my rights. I don't need to sign up that I have the right to self-protection. My gun right here, I don't need to check in with anybody. Last I checked, I'm a full-grown man. I haven't killed or shot anybody yet. Why would I? I don't want to hurt anybody. I want to defend my life and have a gun for tyrannical government in case they turn against us and decide to use lethal force on the citizens. You don't have to sign up for your First Amendment. Go ahead. Check in with the government for your next speech. Make sure you write a request form to the government so that you can speak. If you want to travel down the road, make sure you ask the government, sign your permission slip. I'm sorry you don't understand the principles of liberty, sir, but I will not in any way, shape, or form give away a single inch to the jackboot thug pig government we've created that's authoritarian, totalitarian, and brutal. I will not. So you need to wake up, bro. You need to wake up. I apologize, but you need to wake up. You do not have to sign up for your rights, sir or ma'am. You do not need to request from the government. Your, what if I had to ask the government to have my gun right here? And then someone shows up and wants to shoot me or kill me. But the permission slip from the government didn't come in time. I would rather deal with the gun charge then allow someone to walk up to me and shoot me in the street because I don't have self-protection because you had to sign up for your gun rights in Michigan, which isn't true yet. And it's because of people like Dave and Robert and the other gentlemen who started the Second Amendment advocate group there. And that's why I respect these guys. We don't necessarily align politically. I don't, I'm not a Republican. I don't vote Republican. I don't vote Democrat. I always vote independent because both sides are bought and paid for. And I always vote independent since 2009. So I'm just telling you, you do not sign up for your gun rights. Don't ever agree to that, ever. I'm giving, doing a giveaway. Let me know if you guys got your free stuff. I just sent off a bunch of free stuff. Go to my website right now, deletelaws.com. If you order anything from my website right now during this live stream, I will then email you everything I sell for free. You have to buy one thing. You buy anything from my website. I want you to get the trifold hint, hint, hint so that you can then have a copy of it on your hard drive and you can send it to friends and family and teach them that you have to invoke your Fifth Amendment right when you talk to jackboot thug pigs. This is how it works. I showed a video earlier. You have got to make sure that you have a trifold on you and your phone on you. Do not run over to 7-Eleven and leave your phone behind. Do not leave and walk over to Speedway and leave your trifold sitting on your table. When I walk out the door, trifold's in my pocket, phone's in my pocket. These two items go with me everywhere. I never leave the house without my trifold and my phone, ever. This is my guide to walk through it. So if the cop says something to me, I know how to respond. Passenger, get out of the car. He's gonna extend a stop. He wants the ID of the passenger. He says he's gonna smell marijuana. He, he says that I can't curse at him, that I'm using bad language. Well, you guys see, I will curse out cops anytime I want. Anytime I want. It's my right to say, go pound sand, you jack boo thug pig. And I'm not gonna sign up for my right to use speech. I'm not gonna sign up for my right to get my gun. Wake up. Wake up. You're free, brother. And don't you ever forget it. Sorry, I just, don't you ever forget the principles of liberty. You represent the cops. I was a federal police officer. I have nothing to do with him. You read right there and say how cops are good, and they're not. Cops are terrible. You guys in general. Talk in and keep talking. I'm just telling you. But you're not. Are you coming back to attack me again, sir? Because I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I'm not interested in a fist fight with you. That's the guy right there who tried to attack me. I don't know this guy. This man saved me. I don't want to fight you, dude. What's the matter? You, you don't want to be on camera now that you tried to attack me? You can't attack me, dude. And you're not in shape enough to attack a guy you're like a me. Clown. Yeah, but you're, you got to get in shape before you go fighting a real man. You're a clown. You need to get on a stair stepper for a while. You're a clown. Where is law enforcement? Well, law enforcement for what? For having a civil discussion? No. We can't have a discussion? I'm just wondering where you, they are. You can't take a heated discussion? 
I'm this not going to fight anybody. No, you can take. Stop, dude, this is a heated discussion. What's wrong problem. with the heated discussion? Why does it have to be? I don't respect discussion. you, and I don't respect any. When, when, I don't respect this guy either, and I don't respect you. This is a heated discussion. What? We're allowed heated to discussion. have it. You're trying to intimidate me. This is a city council meeting. See that? Keep the camera on the cop. Keep the camera on the cop. Name and badge number. Keep the camera on the cop. Name and badge number. What's your name and badge number? Hey, hey, you have to identify yourself for the policy. Leave him alone. No, he has to identify. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Go back to California. No, forget it. There's the drunken, crazy liberal who couldn't get her speech out. Leave them alone. Leave your great cops alone who arrested the guy for a felony for holding a camera. Leave him alone. I don't back down. We don't Lost stop. I'm so no, sorry. H- honey, I'm so sorry to you. I'm so sorry for thinking you were Lauren Wickman. I apologize to you up one side and down the other. I'm sorry. She was staring at me and I thought it was Lauren Wickman. I'm sorry. I don't want to press charges. He can, he got heated and he pushed me big deal. I don't I don't want to press charges against him. He pushed me and got aggressive, but I don't want nothing done to him. I don't want you taken into a dungeon. Leave him alone. That's cute. You may be an asshole, but you don't belong in a dungeon. That's cute. Yeah. You I may be, keep running your mouth. Don't don't press charges on him. Don't you putting torture cuffs so on cute. him. No, dude. Like, yeah. What are you trying to do, honestly? What am I trying to do? Yeah. I'm trying to bring awareness that these guys are a bad thing. They're a bad thing. No, they are. Yes, they are. That's your opinion. Have you been arrested? Yes. I have, have you been to the dungeon? Yes. Really? Yes. You've yes. gone through trial? Yes. Okay. So how'd it go? It was fine. Oh right, fine for you. <laughs> Must be. How right. do we know she's lying? She's lying right there. Did you hear her? I've been arrested and I've been through trial and it went fine. Put a one in the chat if you've been arrested and you've been through trial. Put a one in the chat if you've been arrested and you've been through trial. It doesn't go fine, you liar. Ooh, I can just feel the anger inside of me. I can just feel the anger inside of me. What are you talking about? It doesn't go fine. You get put in torture cuffs. It's instant torture, pain on your wrists since messages to your brain that, ow, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Your wrist bones are being contorted. Watch when I squeeze my wrist. Look what happens to the hand. Look what happens to the hand. When I squeeze the wrist, it didn't go smoothly. That's why thousands and thousands of people come here. That's why thousands and thousands of people use my products that I give to them for free if I have to. It's not going smooth, Tootsie Pop. It's going horrible. And people are being abused and being cheated and being put in a dungeon for years. For years, they want to lock up Garrett, press with rancor, and charge him with a felony for pointing his phone at a cop, and the copper didn't like it. His daddy pig didn't like it, and then the sister that works in the prosecutor's office with Lauren Wickman, she didn't like it either. Aw, poor little piggies. And they wonder why I'm a cold, searing prick to them. You're looking at it. I asked this cop to identify. He did not. You have rules. There's the rule of law that I'll be teaching tomorrow about John Locke, about Montesquieu, about Jean-Jacques Rousseau. And you don't follow the principles of the rules of law. And that's why I'm here. That's why I exist. And that's why we don't stop. Don't sit there and piss on me and tell me it's raining. Nice. Must be nice. Must be nice, lady. You know what? Must, you have to identify yourself, dude. You're breaking the rule. This is what I'm talking about. There's a rule of law and you're breaking it. I said to identify yourself and you did not. That's terrible. You're supposed to identify yourself. <laughs> You're a tough old bird, aren't you? Don't call me an old bird. Well, you bumped into me, lady. No, you bumped into me. I mean, I'm just saying you're a tough lady. I'm not cutting you. I might be a dick, but I'm a hard dick. I might be a big dick, but I'm a big hard dick. No, he's the big dick. You're a dick. Oh, I'm a total dick, bro. I agree with you there. I'm a total dick. I don't back down. Ever. <laughs> ever. I never stop. Ever. You're done with your life, bro. Mine's just starting. You're in the what sunset of yours. Say? I said he's in the sunset of his life. Mine's just starting. That's he what I said. Somebody was done with his life. Almost. Very close. I don't think so. I think so. And don't don't get in my way when I'm freedom fighting. I'll cut you to the quick. Tell you've been persecuted and prosecuted by the cops. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You only have to back the blue once until it happens to you. You're supposed to identify yourself, cop. You break the rules. Okay, let me give you a simple example, people. He's supposed to identify himself right now. All I asked him for his name and badge number. Why doesn't he? I've seen the video with him and Grebo. I wasn't. Why doesn't he identify himself? But why doesn't he identify himself? I'm not asking for him to get on his knees. I'm asking for follow his policy. The policy is. They could put us in torture cuffs. This is the funniest part, right? Here, here, here's the funniest part. 
they can put us in torture cuffs and arrest us. I've got about eight more orders. I'm going to be sending your free, your free products right now. Just give me one second. So I got about eight more orders that came in. I'm going to send you guys everything else I sell for free. I'm doing a giveaway right now. If you order anything from my website, I don't care what it is. I'll send you everything else I sell 100% for free right now. Put your order number in the comment section, please. But I'm just going to just send everything I sell for free. I want you guys to have my trifold in your car. I want you to rubber band it in your car. Don't just get my trifold. You put the rubber band on it and you stick it on the visor. Do not just get, I'm telling you right now, do not just get my trifold and think to yourself, um, okay, I got the trifold. So now I'm fine. So now I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You're not fine unless you're really, truly prepared. Your trifold, your proof of insurance, your registration all goes up here in your visor. And then when the cop comes up, you have everything up there already. Your camera's rolling. Slide out your, in, your registration, license, and proof of insurance to the piggy. And then he says, do you know why I pulled you over? Why didn't you pull over right away? You invoked your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent right away. You say it right to the camera. I've invoked my Fifth Amendment right, right there. Put it right in the copper's face. And then he says, where were you heading? Hey, pig. Hey, pig. There's rules to my rights. I've invoked my Fifth Amendment right. You don't get to ask me any more questions. Your questioning period is now over. Unless I have counsel here, you're violating my rights. That's how it works. You got to get it. Make sure you get the broccoli wad rubber band that I send to you or get your own if you get the print at home one and you get the vi you get it up in your visor. You got to listen to what I'm telling you, please. I've covered two or three dead guys this week, two or three dead people this week who didn't give the cop their license, fought about the insurance, fought about the registration. For what? For what? You're not standing your ground by not giving him your ID when you're driving a car. The people, the majority of the people won't agree with you. Even if he did it wrong, they won't agree with you. If you want a freedom fight and you don't want to give him your, your ID registration proof insurance, then you're experienced like I am. You've done this before, right? You've done this before. If you've done it before, great. Then I understand. And you have everything going on camera, right? Everything's on camera, right? Because if you're not doing this and you're flexing your rights, you're making a mistake. Remember, I'm the way I am because I was arrested over two dozen times for no reason when there was no camera phone. This is the invention of the millennial. This right here is the total game changer. This is transparency. So right now I'm doing a giveaway. If you order anything from my, pro from my website, deletelaws.com with a Z, if you order absolutely anything, I'm giving you everything else I sell for free. I want you to get the trifold and invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's what I want you to do. And then you got a bunch of Supreme Court cases and district court cases in here. I want the trifold in your car. I want you to have this in your car. Chevy! Christy, how are you, Scrubzilla? Good to see everybody. There goes the heroes. There goes our heroes right there. To identify yourself for him right now. All I asked him for his name and badge number. Why doesn't he? I've seen the video with him and Grebo. I wasn't there's why doesn't he identify himself? But why doesn't he identify himself? I'm not asking for him to get on his knees. I'm asking for follow his policy. The policy is to identify yourself. Is, I mean, am I wrong here, sir? The identity. I'm not saying you're wrong. Well, then why doesn't he follow the law? That's why I'm do what I do. Well, you don't have to. You're not a public official. He is. He's supposed to identify himself. And what about this guy being charged with a felony? Come on. Well, I'm telling you about it now. You can go to my channel. I've, seen his, and watch I've it. seen his video with Grebo. went viral. Right. I don't think what he do was think very respectful. But we don't respect another... cops. We've well, been abused and, and treated terrible by cops. That, that's fine. You don't. It's have not to like fine him, though. Right? It's not okay. What I've been you through don't is the reason. I hate every one of them. Either. I hate every last one of them. Yes, I do. I can't do that. I, well, of course I you can. Yes, I can. Have you been to the torture system? Have you been to the dungeon? Yes, I can. Have you been arrested and put in the dungeon? Yes or no? I can no. do anything. Okay, then I want. you have no idea what I've been through. Yeah. You haven't even been arrested once. I've been but arrested thirty the, times. The thing is, not everybody is the same. He would have g gladly put me in torture cuffs and dragged me off to a dungeon. We he talked about this been. already. Because he has no standing. If he could, he would. If he could, he absolutely would. We talked about this I'm saying, earlier. You don't know it how bad it is until it happens to you, and then you call me. As much as you hate me, your husband has got to get arrested once, and you'll call me. You'll call me. You'll call me and say, "Hey, please help me." So many emails. Let me, I wish I could just, you want to see my emails? Every day. Help me, Chili. Please help me, Chili. So Press with Ranker, I believe, is in the room. I believe Press with Ranker is in the room. I actually opened up my email and I showed him. 
that just the first 10 or 20 emails, it was bulk of people saying, Chili, please help me. Chili, please help me. Chili, please help me. And I showed Garrett this when I was in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan with my new friend. And he took a look at it and said, wow. I mean, I, it, it affects my soul. It affects my soul. I wish I could help you. I wish I could help every person. I wish that I could help you. I really, really do. I'm so sorry that this is happening to you. I'm so sorry you're reaching out to a guy on YouTube to ask for help because we've created a system where you have to have tons of money to get the help that you need. So I'm, I'm, it, it really touches my heart that so many people contact me. And so this is the reason why I do everything I do because you email me and say, please help me, Chili, please help me. And so people are like, man, why are you giving all your stuff away for free? They'll come back later and buy your product. I really don't care. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't care if you bought it or not. I just care that you have it, that you have it in your car, that you have this trifold in your car and that you have one in your son's car, Anthony Allegrini Jr. And that you, t you have your kids watch the videos that I teach when I teach you guys how to put your hands at touchdown position. The phone goes in this hand, the, the right here. Everything's right here. Your hands never go below the steering wheel. Your hands never go below the steering wheel right here. Everything is right here. This is what I teach people. This is what I'm teaching you. This is what I'm teaching your children. They have created a murder system for us. Terry versus Ohio plus Graham versus Connor, 1989 equals the cop can be afraid for his life and the cop can shoot you based on his perceived fear of you. That's why we have people getting murdered all the time here. You got to get your hands just like this. Everything goes right here. This is how you do everything right here. This is how you do your life. Thank you, Scrub. I'm about to send off another batch of free uh, trifolds right now. Just give me 15 seconds here. Let's watch the rest of this video, and then I'm going to send off another batch of free trifolds right now. I believe you. Please help me. So many. You'll call me and say, "Hey, please help." Me. You don't know it how bad it is until it happens to you, and then you don't know how bad it is until it happens to you. And you call me, and then you call me. As much as you hate me, your husband only has got to get arrested once and you'll call me. As much as you hate me, your husband only has to get arrested once and you will call me. And that's a fact. You'll call me. You'll call me and say, hey, please help me. So many emails. Let me, I wish I could just, you want to see my emails? Every no, day. Help me, Chili. Please help me, no, Chili. Please help me. So many people say, please help me. The cops are railroading me, cheating me. I agree with your shirt, Serge. Who's that? Your shirt. Oh, <laughs> please help me. Hundreds and hundreds of emails from cops who abused and ruined people. Help me, please. The cops are cheating me, lying about me, charging me with felonies. Hundreds of emails a day. And you wonder why I don't like cops. I mean, that's the whole problem. I, I asked this cop to identify and he didn't identify. You're violating your own policy. Okay, see if these guys do it. What's your name and badge number? You're supposed to identify yourself. Can you please identify yourselves? And they refuse. It's not your policy. Right here. Right here. Your name's right Steve here. Why don't you identify Steve. your Steve was badge number 2109. Okay. Are you the supervisor? Why don't you get them yes. to identify as well? They're not, they're not even, I'm, I'm letting them go. You, yeah, but, you, but you're breaking your own policy. This is why so, people hate cops. You no. Know, your policy is to identify. Of course I'm you're I'm here not. to make sure everybody stays safe. And oh, that's you, you mean the people who attacked me that I didn't press charges so. on? Is that what you're talking about? Because I don't believe that putting them in jail is going to make the world a better place. Okay. But why didn't you tell them to identify? That's the reason why people don't like you, dude. Right. I'm not going to get in a debate with you. So. Of course you're not. Of course you couldn't you're anyway. Not. You're not on my knowledge level. Not even close. You're not even remotely close to my level of knowledge. It's not even remotely close. Good luck to Palestine. Where do we park at? Where do we park at? That's it. See you guys on the next one. Later, Gators. So that was the end of that particular video. I do have another angle that I want to share with you guys. I, I do want to show you guys another angle of this where I had the camera pointing at myself. You'll be able to see a lot more here in one second. So uh, let me read off some order numbers real quick. People who have ordered. I got Robert. I got all my free stuff. Zach Bowers. How you doing, buddy? I got everything 
coming for you right now for free. I'm copying and pasting even as we speak right here. If you order anything from my site right now while I'm live, I will send you everything else. SWE Observer. SWE, you already have this, bro. You already bought this from me before. <laughs> SWE Observer, you're just supporting, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Four more, and I'm going to send this off. I've, if you buy anything from my website on DeleteLaws.com right now, I will send you everything else that I sell. So I've got uh, Lee coming out right now. Thank you, Lee, for your for your purchase. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're going to get the trifold in your car. I super, super appreciate that. Oops, I guess I got the wrong one there. I put the wrong copy and paste on there. So this is going to be E. E, thank you so much. Right now, if you order anything from my website, moderators put the, the link for the website in there. Uh, I'm going to send you everything I sell for free. I only have two more, and then I'm going to come right back to the videos here. I got two more to send off for free. I'm doing it with you guys live right now. I'm sending off. This is going to Scott. Scott in Texas, here's your free products coming in your email right this second, Scott. Here it is right here. There's one more. And here, this is going to be for Gary. Gary over in Texas as well. Gary in Texas, here comes your free stuff right now. Thank you for your order. I'm super happy you're going to have the trifold in your car. Please tell your friends. You know, And Gary, by the way, you're now going to have a digital copy. So you can just go ahead and print it out yourself and give one to one of your friends. If they want to order an indestructible one, they're welcome to, or they can just use the one. Gary, when you give it to your friends, though, when you give it to your friends, Matthew, this is coming to you, Matthew in Alabama. So here it is right here. This is, I just sent off 15 more. Everybody, I just sent off 15 more free trifolds. I just sent off 15 more. Check your email right now. Check your spam folder. If you ordered off my site, it probably went to your spam folder. If I emailed it to you, it might go directly to your email. If you ordered the $9 print at home trifold, it probably went to your spam folder. So please check your spam folder. Everybody, please check your spam folder. Chevy, invoke your Fifth Amendment right so that you don't talk to cops. For the love of all that is decent, for the love of God, please, please, please don't talk to these jackboot thug pigs. Please don't do it. They're not your friend. They don't want to help you. They want to arrest you. Their goal is to arrest you. Matthew, you were the last free one that I sent, and that would have been order number 13664. 13664 was the last free trifold that I sent off. And since then, I have um, a few more have come through. A few more. I got Carrie. I got Steven. I got Michael, Jason, Jesus. I got David coming through. All of these are, are, are um, um, uh, David, you're supposed to order something. I'll send it to you for free anyway, but you're supposed to order something, David. Um, so, but that's okay. I want you to get the product anyway. So I would appreciate if you did buy something, but at the same time, if you just got the periodicals, I'll still send you everything I sell for free. I want you to get the trifold in your car that badly. That's how badly I want you to have that trifold in your car. Kevin, I emailed you already. Check your email, Kevin. Kevin, your your uh, your email went out 100%. I know your name. I've seen your name. So check your spam folder. Check your spam folder. Oh, is that right? What is that? Manuel Ellis? Manuel Ellis, what, 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 are you, what are you talking about right there? Is that something I didn't know about? So I have another video from Press with Ranker. I want to show you guys this video from Press. Um, it's an interview that I did with him. I think maybe we will save the, the, the video of Press with Ranker, the interview. I think maybe that I'll just, um, I think maybe that I'll just edit that down and show it to you guys because I definitely want you to see it. Wow. Wow. I'm seeing some of these some of these submissions here from people. Okay, so this is the one that I wanted to cover today. In Las Cruces, New Mexico, the cops are murdering people at one person a week right now. It's it's happening. It's very real. The cops are murdering people in Las Cruces, New Mexico, every single week. They killed someone last week. They killed someone this week. And so I saw this come through yesterday and I, I knew that I wanted to share it. So I've got a bunch more free trifolds, a bunch more free stuff coming out in just one second. I've got about eight, eight people who ordered something. Um, make sure you buy something, buy one thing, if you would, please. And that's, that's the idea of this giveaway today. So, so that 
so that we can keep the wheels going. You guys keep me on track and I can just keep on sending off all my products because I do. And just so you know, I have these in my shop right now. If I ever leave the shop with these, I end up giving them all away. <laughs> I, I now have a policy that I only carry one or two trifolds in my car because if I see someone, especially large men, any large guy who looks like he's not rich, I just want to make sure that he invokes his Fifth Amendment right. Last night outside of Walmart, um, no, I did not. Four public safety got arrested. That's a that's a that's a good acquaintance of mine. Let me take a look at what happened to him. I'm a subscriber to his channel. Let me see what happened to this guy. Was that was that a live video or was that a was that a live video that they got arrested? Let me check the comments here real quick. Was um, thank you for the super sticker, David. I appreciate it. Uh, David, I got your I got your order by the way. Check your email. I already sent it to you. I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to be sending off a bunch of free stuff right now. So if anybody has, right on, special ed Andrew. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. It means a ton to me because you know the fact that you guys use my products to defend yourself from these jackboot thug pigs. It means the absolute world to me. You know, I'm a person, flesh and bone, so you can hurt my feelings. You can make me feel good. You can cut me down. You can do all kinds of things to me. I'm a person, you know, I know that I'm super tough and that I have super tough emotions because of the adversity I faced in my life. But at the same time, I, my, my skin still paper thin, you know, I feel every poke and prick and I feel everybody's pain. That's why a lot of these emails, when they start off with, please help me, Chili, please help me. It's just so hard for me because I want to help you, but I'm really limited you know, and my buddy, uh, Zach, I wish I could do more for you, bro. I really do. I've reached out to several different attorneys in your state and I've contacted several attorneys on your behalf that you don't even know I've spoken to, but I've tried to help you. I've been working to try to help you, man. I really have been. So but I want to see, was it, uh, was, uh, for public service, was that a that's a 42 minute video for public safety is long. maybe this was the arrest. That wasn't it. So I'm trying to, uh, could you drop the link or email me the link delete laws at gmail.com? Could you drop that link for me? That would, that would, that would, that would be great. Send me the link for public safety being arrested. I want to cover that. 100%. So Matthew, Matthew, you were the last free batch that I sent off. You were the last free batch was Matthew. So I'm going to send off another batch. Carrie, you got something free coming. Steven, Michael, Israel, Jason, Jesus, uh, Andrew, Felix, David. I'm sending you guys all everything I sell for free. Felix, you're supposed to buy something, but okay. You know, okay. Michael Martinez, you're supposed to buy something too, but okay. You know, Maybe, maybe you don't have any money, so that's fine, dude. I'll send it to you for free anyway because I want you to have my products in your car. I want you to use the trifold. I don't want you to talk to cops. I don't want you to talk to cops. It's just, it's 100% what I don't want is you having a conversation with a pig. I don't want you to do what I do. I want you to do what I teach you because I'm putting my life on the line. I want you guys to understand that. You know, I've had some very candid talks with my V Boyer. Where you been? Where you been, V Boyer? Good to see you. What a pretty lady. What's going on with you, V Boyer? You know, I've had some really heart to heart talks with my family the past few weeks, really the last few weeks. I set up my, my will and my, I set up my, what I want to happen to my channel, to my videos. If anything happens to me, you know, this was a very real conversation I had with my closest family members that, you know, with my high blood pressure and the job that I do, you know, I'm probably, you know, I don't want to think about it too much, but what I, what I have done is I've set up my will and I've set up the process of what I want to happen with my channels and stuff like that. Because every time I get out of the car, when they pull me over, I could step out of the car and boom, they could blow my head off right there. And then they'll justify it by saying he stepped out of the car. We didn't know if he had a gun. So I put my life on the line and I don't want you to do what I do. I want you to do what I teach you. I want you to have this trifold in your car for the love of God, please. I'll give it to you. 
three or four people, I've said you have to buy something, three or four people just put their periodicals in because the periodicals are free. The Mullen Commission, the, the Knapp Commission, the Racist Origins of Gun Control, the LaGuardia Report, which I don't talk about very much. But if you read the LaGuardia Report, you'll find out that marijuana was demonized for big money and for racism. I hate to tell you that. Jeff hates pigs. Jeff hates pigs. I hope, I hope that we out, I hope that we live, uh, I hope that we live. Oh, is that it right there? Scrub, scrub. Can you email that to me? Is that the official misconduct? Can someone, can you shoot me that in an email? I can't cop. Let me see in the regular chat. Can I copy and paste that? Let me see if it's in the, let me see if it's in the chat here. I want to show for public safety getting arrested. There it is. Scrubzilla. I got it. I got it. Okay, so which is the arrest video? Which is the arrest video of for public safety? I see there's one three months ago, four months ago, but there's no arrest video here. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the video where they got arrested. That's what I'm hoping we have here. If anybody has that arrest video, I want to see that. I want to show that to y'all. I want to show that to y'all. Knight Rider, we never stop, brother. We never stop. So I need the actual link to the video, Zach. If you want to put that in the comment section, someone said for public safety got arrested. I would like to, uh, Joey, do you want to drop that on the YouTube chat? And then I'll be able to, uh, you're right, Sammy. Sam, Sammy's correct that, that chili barely looks at chat. I hardly ever do. I don't want to be distracted by people who are trying to distract me. And I just want to stay on mission. You know, I have a mission. You've never heard me say, what do you want to see me do next? Because I have a mission I'm trying to accomplish here and I will accomplish it. So I hardly ever look at the chat because I don't want to be distracted from what I'm actually doing, which is I'm trying to get this trifold in your car. I'm willing to give you everything I sell for free if you buy one single thing. One single thing and I'll send you a digital copy of this, the 5A cop card, the ebook, the poster. If you guys print out that poster, you will see that it is just absolutely amazing. You'll, you'll see it. It's right there. There's the poster right there. It's the unedited history of the unedited history of the United States of America. And what this sh what this does when you put this on your wall, I'll send it to you for free. It's a digital copy. You print it out at Kinkos or FedEx, wherever you want to print it out. And then you put this on your wall and you can sit around and talk about who is this? Well, who is this? Why is there blackface on here? You know, what 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 about Scalia and 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 what about Ruth Bader Ginsburg? What about Obama? And what exactly did Eric Holder do or not do? You know, what what about Earl Warren? What did Earl Warren do? You know, how come how come we have uh, Frederick Douglass on here? Wh wh who is Frederick Douglass best friend? John Brown. So when you put this on your wall and you start to talk to friends and family about the poster and then right here, you can't see it because it's small, but you can on the digital copy that I send you. This is every single president we've ever had in America going all the way down to Joe Biden now who's lost. I don't know how he's going to run for reelection. He's lost. And then along the top right here, these are all of the Supreme Courts right here. I, my, my thumbs are backwards. So this finger right here, right along here, this is every Supreme Court chief we've had and every court we've had since the foundation of our country. So if you purchase one thing from my website, I'll give you everything else for free, including this poster that you can use digitally on your computer or you can print it out and put it on your wall like mine right there. And that's, I mean, I'm willing to give you everything. Just get a trifold in your car. Get the 5A cop card in your wallet. I'll give you everything else for free. Just get one of those products in your car. And then use your phone and use your trifold as though you are a ninja warrior. <laughs> oh, this, oh, okay. This aid, um, where is it? Let me check the, um, let me check, let me, let me check the actual chat. I'm looking here. I see this here going down right here. Drop, drop the link on the YouTube chat so I can click on it. Oh, thank you, Israel. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm, I really hope that we get some peace in the Middle East. You know, I watched more bombings last night. I really hope that we uh, are able to obtain peace in the Middle East. You're welcome, Sammy. You're so welcome. I'm reading the chat right now. I'm just taking a look at the chat. Shalom, my friend. God, God bless my Jewish heritage. God bless the Palestinian people. I'm praying for peace. I'm praying for peace. I, I, I I'm not going to say that I, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I come of Jewish heritage. So I I am not for, you know, bashing the Jews. At the same time, the government of the Israeli government is pretty tough, pretty, 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 pretty inconsistent with with um with with liberty and justice. So 
you know, I'm just, just keeping it real. I hope you don't dislike me because I want to keep it real and I want peace. You know, that's, that's really, truly what I want is I, I want peace. That's, that's what I want the most. And that's, that's what I'm fighting for is peace. And if we can get to that, then for me, everything would be great. Everything would be absolutely great. So this is the poster that I email you for free. So if you order anything from my site right now, I'm going to send you this poster. I'm going to send you my ebook. My ebook is pretty cool. I mean, I wish I had had a little more time when I was putting that together. What did you say? Okay. I got you. Sure. Yep. I'll do that for you. No problem. Yep. Let me, let me, let me shoot it over to you in an email right now. Let me shoot this over to you in an email right now. I want everybody to get this. I want everybody to get this. Let me show you this story real fast out of Las Cruces. And then I'm going to check for the, the story. Uh, let me know, Desade, when you, when you find that. But let me show you this story at a Las Cruces. I saw this yesterday and I wanted to show it, but I just didn't have time yesterday. For the second time in two weeks, Las Cruces police have released video of one of their officers shooting and killing a citizen. This is video from an early morning encounter between Officer Felipe Hernandez and Teresa Gomez. And we do want to warn you up front, some of you might find this video and details disturbing. Gomez and another man were in a car near the home of a friend on a Tuesday morning, but within minutes, the officer who'd stopped them for trespassing had launched into a profanity-laced tirade was threatening to make Gomez's life, quote, a living hell before shooting her as she tried to drive away. Today, I spoke with family members who said they are stunned at how the officer behaved. From the moment Terry Gomez laid eyes on Las Cruces officer Felipe Hernandez, she wanted out. Step out, ma'am. I don't just step out. Step out now or I'm going to pull you out. I, you cannot pull me out. Gomez and another man were leaving a friend's apartment on October 3rd before sunrise. Officer Hernandez accused them of trespassing and then threatened to use a taser on a reluctant Gomez who said she was searching for her keys. I found him. Then the officer let loose. Listen to me, okay? Can you just shut the f up ready for 10 f***ing seconds? Wow. Throughout the stop, Gomez repeatedly protested that she wasn't breaking a law, was on her way, and would like to continue. Officer Hernandez was having none of it. So let's not make this difficult because I will I will really, really make your life a living hell. Wow. Do you hear me? Okay, I will tow your car. Wow. As a matter of fact... Matter no, fact, don't tow my car. Eventually, Gomez gets back in her car and tries to leave. Stop. Watch this. This is horrible. Look at that. Terry what Gomez's family psycho. said goodbye to her on Monday. On what Tuesday, they made the psycho. difficult decision to gather and watch the video of her death. I had to watch this video of her just gasping for air, not being able to get help. Nothing anyone can do. We just had to watch it. But when you realize he could have done something. The encounter was frustrating and frightening. Terry told him, be nice. What does he do? He curses at her. He just seemed like a bully. My sister seemed like he murdered her. Has been in relationships where she wasn't always treated the best. And I think having been in those relationships, I think she has a sense when she needs to be nice, when she needs to say the right things, Obviously because it's not gonna lead her a good way. And I feel like she at first it was, I want to talk to your sergeant, do not touch me. But then I think she felt that sense, probably that fear. And she realized I need to be really nice right now because if not, something's going to happen to me. The shooting and the reaction, which police did not show on Tuesday, left them wanting justice. Get out. Get out so I can give me medical assistance. Get out. Hernandez she runs to the car and orders a moaning dying. gunshot Gomez to get out. He get argues out. with the man in the car. She almost hit me with the car. He runs back for his not. flashlight when other officers Liar. arrive. He gets Liar. his bike. He never gives medical aid. Never. Attorney Shannon Kennedy. If she can be killed, anyone can be killed. Exactly. If this can happen to this family, it could happen to any one of us. So Las Cruces has a problem, and they need to solve it, and they need to it's, solve it fast. It's not Terry just Gomez family Las said Cruces. They will fight for justice, but they won't stop missing the mother of four kids who got the education that she so wanted them to have, who gave her two grandchildren, and who would do anything to have their mom back. Matt Grubbs for Investigates. 
On the day of this shooting, Attorney General Raul Torres was actually in Las Cruces announcing he was charging a different Las Cruces police officer with the 2022 shooting of Presley Eze. A spokeswoman told us today, quote, given our recent indictment of another LCPD officer for manslaughter, we are also concerned that LCPD, this is important here, is exhibiting a pattern and practice of conduct that requires closer examination. <laughs> <laughs> While we respect the third judicial district attorney's decision to keep the case until the investigation is complete, we will maintain an open line of communication with his office and stand ready to assist. That pattern and Check practice your email, everybody. is what got the Department of Justice here in Albuquerque. Now, Jeremy Story is the interim police chief in Las Cruces. Yesterday, he called the video, quote, troubling. Troubling. Hernandez fired as Gomez was pulling away from him. Again, the officer's concern in this case, the reason he was there, was maybe trespassing. The chief did not comment on this particular shooting in that regard, but here's what he said about that pulling away scenario. Generally speaking, officers use deadly force to prevent someone who's fleeing when that person poses a significant threat of death or serious bodily harm to the officers or others. There's a moaning gunshot Gomez. He just seemed like a, a significant. Bullet. A significant threat. Eventually, of Gomez gets back in her car and tries okay. to leave. Let's see it. Okay, she's in the car. He's on the left of the car. She tries to drive away to the right, not at him, but to the right. Now he's running alongside of the car. She's pulling away from him, going to the right, not to the left. She's not swerving the car at him. She was driving away Terry from Gomez him. Family. I mean, what in the world are we even looking at here? I mean, do you guys not understand now why I tell you to use the trifold, go nice and slow, take your time, do not sit there and have this back and forth with this pig. He can't wait to kill you. He can't wait to shoot you. He can't wait. He woke up this morning thinking to himself, wonder if I'm going to get to kill anybody today. You know what I'm saying? Someone doesn't comply to me. Comply or die. Comply or die. Runs around. Oh, my gun. My gun. I can't wait to kill somebody. That's what you got going on. You think I'm lying? Put a one in the chat if you agree with me. If you think that some cops wake up in the morning and they can't wait to kill somebody. They can't wait. They're so excited about it. They cannot wait. Today's going to be the day I get to kill somebody. I think I'm going to tell my dad. I can't wait. Am I wrong? I mean, am I wrong? It, doesn't it seem that way to you? What did Philip Brailsford, Brailsford, what did Philip Brailsford have across the, the, the side of his gun? You're effed. And then he killed uh, Daniel, Daniel Shaver. He shot him in that hallway in, in Phoenix, in Mesa, because he moved. He was playing the Simon Says game. Put your left hand down, put your right hand up. Now crawl towards me, and then boom, he shot him right in the top of the head, went all the way through his body. His wife watched while her, was it her fiancé or husband, was murdered. This is what I'm telling you, y'all. This is what I'm telling you. Get the trifold in your car, hands go up, Invoke your Fifth Amendment right, right there. Talk real slow, real calm. I've invoked my Fifth Amendment right. Stop questioning me. Everything's on camera. Don't jump in your car and try to drive away. Don't try to flee. Don't try to fight. They're outgunning us. They have more guns than us. And these crazy liberals want to strip away our gun rights. Don't be a crazy liberal. Don't try to take away my gun rights. That's... That Trifold right now. If you get anything off my website, deletelaws.com, I will email you everything I sell for free. Go ahead, you guys. Check your email right now. Check your spam folder. I just sent off 10 more free trifolds, 10 more posters, 10 more ebooks. I just sent off everything I sell for free to 10 more people, including people who contacted me through WordPress and said, I don't have any money. Boom, I sent you everything I sell for free. That's how much I mean it. This is a giveaway right now. You purchase one thing off my website on deletelaws.com. I will send you everything else I sell for free. Desert Dog got his. There it is. Desert, did I not? I sent it off. Check your email right now for people who ordered something and I sent you free stuff. Everybody, check your email right now. I sent you something and you got free stuff. Check your email. Let me know if you guys got my email. Check your spam folder, please. 
Check your spam folder, please. So good to see V Boyer. And there's Barbara Budden. I'm, I'm, I'm praying for me too, to be honest. <laughs> and I'm praying for you too. I hope and pray that everybody has a trifold in their car. That's what I hope. I'm willing to give it. Oh, D D Desert Dog said, check your spam folder. So it was in your spam folder, Desert Dog. That's where it was. If I email, if you ordered a product off my site and it didn't show up in your email instantaneously, it's in your spam folder. It's in your spam folder. Tell everybody else. It's in your spam folder. It's in your spam folder. And here's Greg. Good to see you, Greg. Uh, Mikey, you need to contact me because I deleted a bunch of people on accident. And I think you were one of those people that got deleted. I want to put you back on. So uh, reach out to me, Mikey, and send me your link to your, to your channel so I can get you back up there. Kevin Gordon, did you get yours now? Uh, Rachel Putney, did you get yours? Brick, did you? Everybody, I want to make sure everybody got your 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 free stuff from me. I mean, I mean it. I mean it. Everything I sell for free, you only got to buy one thing. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. This is crowdfunding. This is how we crowdfund. Because if it's only nine bucks from, but nine bucks from 70 people, that's $600. That's enough money where I can sit here and click and give away free stuff all day. I don't care. Now, tomorrow I'll be teaching Constitutional Law Scholar, so you guys can tune in for that tomorrow. I may record it and put it up, not do it live. I'm considering whether I teach it live tomorrow or not, but I want everybody to make sure that they have it. I want everybody to have it. I want everybody to have the, the trifold in their car. That's what I want everybody to have. I really do. It really means the... Okay, so... Here's a little bonus. Uh, check your spam folder, please, everybody. Make sure you check your spam folder. I sent off an email to like 16 people just now. Yeah, Mikey B, reach out to me so I have your, your contact information. Okay, now here's the inside camera of the tyranny you just saw in that in that city council meeting and in the in the commissioner council meeting. I got to make a phone call very shortly here. But here's the here was press and I from the inside position, I'm going to show this to you guys right now. It uh, comes from one of my favorite TV characters, United States Deputy Marshal Raymond Gibbons. It kind of goes like this. You ever notice how you run into a, I was going to say an asshole in the morning, you run into one? You run into one morning, noon, and night? You might be that person. Good day. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Come to order, please. Just pop that. Thank you very much. I'm not a scientist. So. Just want to show you the fire. Just want to show you the fire. Likes the policy and you have any 30 day appointments. Pussy, bro. You're not. You have any 30 day appointments. Here we go. Get ready for the explosions. Great. Thank you for coming tonight. Have a safe trip home. You're not going to win re election. Who, who's Lauren Wickman? Press is laughing. I, I, I'm gonna, I, she's not going to win re-election. She's a horrible person. I know a lot. I, I'm, I, know, I know a lot. I know a lot. Where's the pig at? There's the pig. Hey, pig. Where's your, you're not so tough with your badge and your gun anymore, are you? Not so tough anymore, are you? Came up, got in my face. You're no match for me, bro. Don't even try it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me tell you something. You're, you're, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a fucking you're like a You are a pussy, bro. You're not tough at all. With your badge and gun, you got no badge and gun. You're a wuss. Don't get in my face, punk ass. Excuse me. Don't get in my ass. 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 I just came over to talk to you. It's awesome. My back is turned. My back is turned to you. Oh no, no, no. I go, cops get fired. Nobody watches, huh? Sure. My dad is a pig. Your dad is a pig. Your dad is a pig. I don't care. So but you're not so tough anymore. Ahead, when you came over, so did you intimidate me? Did you not insult so Why did you insult not my even, mother? She's gonna speak your mom's not address. insulted. Just if you speak, you'll ass. be redressed. You're just if you ass speak, ass you will be redressed. You're but, you're, but you're not so tough. Are you but you're not so tough, are you? are not I'm just saying, you walked over there. He's throwing Dave Moyle under the bus again. I came here to represent this guy as an advocate. Then how do you know him? You're because he, like because, because he's you're honored you're you're like No, you're you came over and got in my face and told me who's in said, my face. You're not so tough, are you? My, my back is turned to you, so I'm hard to understand. Let's make it. Yeah, why don't you guys just go outside and keep going? Shut up, Nobody dude. wants to shut, shut your mouth, dude. Nobody's going to shut, shut your mouth. You get out of the way, Shut gentlemen. your mouth, dude. I'm standing on the side. Shut your mouth. Don't get in my face and think you're tough. You came over and got in my face. Course, honey. I'll be back here, face. honey. I'm coming back December. You're in my face. So my back is turned to you. So how am I in your face? Kind of oh, do you not see my back turned like to you? Bad. My back you is turned to you? Goodbye, you just act like a tough guy. And I just want you to know, without the badging gun, you're, you're nothing but a wussy. 
Don't you know you that? Keep you're saying nothing but a that. wussy. You're nothing but a wussy. You're not going to go to the show. You need your badge and gun. You're not going to go to the show. You better go get your badge and gun. Because you're nothing without us, bro. You're a total wuss. I'm a good man. You're not a good man. You ruin people's lives. You have ruined people's lives. You ruined so many lives. You're disgusting. You're a jack. Thank you for being a good I just want you to know. No, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, dude. Get your hand off my camera, lady. Hey, I appreciate the feedback, gentlemen. Let's go, you guys. It's always good to get nice, respectful feedback. So I'm not. I don't respect I'm you at all. I don't, I don't respect you. Better. I don't respect you even slightly. Not even kind of. You ruin people's lives, bro. You are a pig, dude. You are a pig. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know, bro. I'm just letting you know. Have a nice day. Don't don't act like you're a good person. You're not. You ruin people's lives. Have a nice day. You ruin people's lives. That's all you do. Oh, dude, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back to campaign against Lauren Wickman. That's what I'll be back to do. Well, to I don't you. stop ever. I never stop. Never. I never give up. We don't stop. I never back down. So never. Put it in the chat. We don't stop. Yeah. We don't stop. I'll say it again so you guys can hear me say it again and join me in saying it. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop until we change this jackboot thug pig system. Put it in the chat. We don't stop. Or Wickman. That's what I'll be back to do. Well, I'll be glad to I don't you. stop ever. I never stop. Thank you for I coming. never give up. I never you back so down. I, I, I yeah. Did you? What about the video? Mm -hmm. you, talk like do you care about that? Do you care about calling I, my dad I, a pig? I think your dad's a fucking pig, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, are you rude? Get off me, bro. He's trying to attack me. Get off me, bro. Don't do it. Hey, 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 he just he just attacked me. You want to attack? This man do it. came in. Do it. Go ahead. 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 Get your fucking hands off me, bro. Get your hands off me. Oh, who's going to jail? You're not a pig anymore, bro. Back up. Don't put your hands on me. He's not allowed to put his hands on me. He started. I don't care. I didn't start your physical interaction. You guys, everything's on camera. Cause cause this kind of disruption. No, I'm like, here oh, to get justice. Happy. Look at the you're videos. This is not being stalked and arrested. What does that have to do with us? You represent the pigs, bro. Oh. That's what you represent. Thank you. You, you do. You, you do. You really Why are. don't you look at what they do, lady? Look at what they do. They're terrible. They're yeah, terrible. Me, they're, they're, Thank you for stopping that man from attacking me. Just go away, guys. No, you go away, bro. I'm just letting you know. What about the videos of him being stalked and harassed? What about those? Do we care at all about what he's gone through? That's why I'm here. I didn't come here to fight that guy. Five he just ran in. I'm sure that's what happened. It's a felony for holding the camera. He's been charged with a felony for holding the camera. Do you care about that? They want to put me away. I don't want to fight anybody. Thank you. What, 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 what about him being arrested? 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 That's your community, you moron. Do you hear what this moron just said? Listen to what the moron just said. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's the community. Isn't Garrett a part of that community? Doesn't he live there? Doesn't he go to college there? Doesn't he? So isn't he part of the community? How is he not part of the community, Dave? He's part of the community, Dave, you pig. He's part of the community, just like you, just like me. I came up to the Upper Peninsula. I'm now a part of the community. They want to put I don't want to fight anybody. Community. Oh, you care about our community, huh? Okay, listen to my response. What about him being arrested? What does that have to do with us? There it is, folks. There it is. What does that have to do with us? A member of our community was arrested and charged with a felony, but he's not part of our community. What does that have to do with us, the pig team? That's the point of the reason why I'm showing this to you. This is the whole point. What does that have to do with us? Well, a pig family, the Tardif family, Todd Tardif, Cole Tardif, and Paige Tardif, along with prosecutor Lauren Wickman, have targeted Garrett because he films cops on the side of the road. And they don't like it. Too damn bad. I'm not registering for my gun, and I'm not checking in with you when I film pigs. I have every right to do it. I would love to be able to say, man, I really respect the police in America, but I don't. I would love to say, I record the peace officers in our country, but I don't. I say I record the pigs. And the reason why is because this jackboot thug pig doesn't think Garrett's a part of his community. He's not a part of our community. You're seeing it. You're hearing it. You're listening to it.
You're, you represent the cops. I was a federal police officer. Nothing to do with you. You read up there and said how cops are good and they're not. Cops are terrible. You guys in general. I'm just telling you. But you're not. Are you coming back to attack me again, sir? Because I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I'm not interested in a fist fight with you. I don't know this guy. I don't want to fight you, dude. What's the matter? You, you don't want to be on camera now that you tried to attack me? You can't attack me, dude. And you're not in shape enough to attack the guy like me. Yeah, but you're, you got to get in shape before you go fighting a real man. You need to get on a stair stepper for a while. Where is law enforcement? I'm putting time in. Law enforcement for what? For having a civil discussion? No. We can't have a discussion? I'm just wondering you, where You can't take a heated discussion? I'm not going to fight you, buddy. Boy, this, this guy, Dave, really shows himself, doesn't he? Listen to what he says here. And and look, I'm training every day. So just be sure before you step up and try to fight me. I can fight for 10 minutes straight right now. So be very careful if you decide you're going to try to fist fight me in the streets. Go fighting a real man. You're a clown. You need to get on a stair stepper for a while. Where is law enforcement? Where is law enforcement? For having a civil discussion? No. We can't have a discussion? I'm just wondering where you, they are. You can't take a heated discussion? I'm this not going to fight you, buddy. No, you heated couldn't take this. This is a heated discussion. This What's wrong with the heated discussion? Is what what? It is. I don't respect you, and I don't respect any. Wait, wait, I don't respect this guy either, and I don't respect you. This is a heated discussion. Well, We're allowed to have it. You're discussion. trying to intimidate this me. This is a city council meeting. You're allowed to address You're not government a city here. Council name and badge number. Name and badge number. What's your name and badge number? Hey, hey you have to identify yourself according to policy. No, he has to identify. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, forget it. Forget it. Leave your great cops alone who arrested the guy for a felony for holding the camera. Nobody wants to address the issue of why I'm there. Nobody wants to talk about the reason why I'm in the Upper Peninsula. They want to ignore the fact that they arrested Garrett. No, I don't. I don't want to press charges. He, can, he got heated and he pushed me big deal. I don't I don't want to press charges against him. He pushed me, got aggressive, but I don't want nothing done. I'm not going to press charges against somebody for simply That's, getting you excited. You may be an asshole, but you don't belong in a dungeon. That's, That's right. You, may be, you don't belong in a dungeon. Don't, don't press charges on him. Don't, you putting torture cuffs so on him. Not, dude. No, dude. Like, yeah. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to bring awareness that these guys are a bad thing. They're a bad thing. No, they yes, are. Yes, they are. That's your opinion. Have you been arrested? Yes. I have you have. been to the dungeon? Yes. Really? Yes. You liar. Gone trial? Yes. Okay. So how'd it go? It was fine. Oh right, you fine for you. Must, must be nice. Bad. Must be nice. Your trial? They are. Not am I trying to do? I'm trying to bring awareness that these guys are a bad They're thing. Not. They're a bad They're thing. Not. No, they are. Not That's your opinion. Are. Have you been arrested? Yes. Have you been to the dungeon? Really? You've gone through trial? Yes. Okay. So how'd it go? It was fine. Oh, right. Fine you know for what? you. Must be, nice. Must be nice. Must be nice. Must be nice, lady. You, so. you know what? Must, you have, okay. So right here, let's take a break. And I want to say this to you. All activists and all auditors, when someone says something like this to you, what you say is, did they sign up to enforce the same policies and procedures? Do they follow the same policies and procedures for that pig shack? Then they're all the same. If you agree to follow policies and procedures that are barbaric, brutal, and inhumane, then you are a jackboot thug pig. The reason why they can't get anybody to be a pig right now is because the policies and procedures. I saw a video yesterday where they had a pig on there saying, well, we need to change the recruitment process. We need to get more professional. What are you talking about? The reason why people don't want to be a pig is because the policies and procedures that they have to follow that makes them a jackboot thug pig. You think you signed up to be a pig and you're going to make a difference? The only difference you could possibly make is if you change the policies and procedures. That's what I'm talking about. So what I'm doing today, this is a giveaway. If you order anything from my website, deletelaws.com, deletelaws.com with a Z, I will then email you right now during this live stream everything I sell for free right this second. Right now, order a trifold off my website, $9 trifold, $35 trifold, the 5A cop card, the ebook, the poster. If you order anything off of my website, I will right now during this live stream, email you everything I sell for free. So please do it now during the live stream. Some people contact me later and say, hey, I saw your live stream. Can I get it? And I, I still do. But remember, I get hundreds of emails a day. So if I miss it, there's just so many people who contact me. But right now, I'm giving everything I sell for free. If you get the $9 digital trifold, you have a copy of it. Give it to your mother. Give it to your brother. Give it to your best friend. Give it to your lover and teach them. Say, go watch this guy's channel. He teaches you to rubber band it into the visor. Get your arms at touchdown position and use your phone like it's a ninja. 
This is your ninja warrior right there. This is your MMA fighter. This is the transparency that we need. We can't fight them with guns and sticks and knives. We can't do it. You're going to die. Don't do it. Don't go to violence. You saw they tried to move the violence during the city, during the commissioner's meeting. And I said, I'm not moving into violence with you guys. I'm not going to be fist fighting you. I'm sorry. So right now, go to my website, deletelaws.com and get a trifold and get it in your car. Right there, get it in your car. When you get pulled over, you invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Do it now. So identify yourself, dude. You're breaking the rule. This is what I'm talking about. There's a rule of law and you're breaking it. Identify I said to identify yourself. yourself and you did not. That's terrible. You're supposed to identify yourself. Excuse me. <laughs> you're a tough old bird, aren't you? Don't call me that. Well, you bumped into me, lady. No, you bumped into me. I mean, I'm just saying yeah, you're a tough right. lady. I'm you're not cutting you. I might be a dick, but I'm a... How many people think that I bumped into an old lady? How many people think I bumped into an old lady? Do you really believe I slammed my 220 pound body into an old lady? Do you think that? Do you believe that for one second? Just like Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Come here. Just, 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 like, just like I leave my dog in hot cars. I leave him in hot cars. That's what I do. I, I leave my dog in hot cars. And he's so abused. I, I, I abuse my dog every day. I make sure I hit him and kick him and punch him as many times as I can. That's why he's so violent. He's such a mean animal because I abuse you every day, don't I? My dog would be so, he's so miserable without me. When I walk out the door, he cries. I just wanted you guys to know. Someone said I was mean to my dog. I leave my dog in hot cars. My dog would be dead if I left my dog in a hot car. So there's a little boy. There's a little boy. <laughs> So this old lady said that I ran into her. Do you really think that I slammed my body into an old lady? Do you really think that? This is what I'm talking about. There's a rule of law and you're breaking it. Identify I said to identify yourself. yourself and you did not. That's terrible. You're supposed to identify yourself. Excuse me. <laughs> you're a tough old bird, aren't you? Don't call me an old bird. Well, you bumped into me, lady. No, you bumped into me. I mean, no, I'm I just didn't. saying you're a tough lady. I'm not cutting you. I might be a dick, but I'm a hard dick. A dick. I might be a big dick, but I'm a big hard dick. No, he's the big dick. You're a dick. Oh, I'm a total dick, bro. I agree with you there. I'm a total dick. I don't back down ever, ever. I never stop ever. You're done with your life, bro. Mine's just starting. You're in the sunset of yours. I said he's in the sunset of his life. Mine's just starting. That's what I said. <laughs> Almost. Very close. I don't think so. I think so. Until you've been persecuted and prosecuted by the cops, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You only have to back the blue once until it happens to you. You're supposed to identify yourself, cop. You break the rules. Okay, let me give you a simple example, people. He's supposed to identify himself right now. All I asked him for his name and badge number. Why doesn't he? I've seen the video with him and Grebo. I wasn't Why doesn't he identify himself? But why doesn't he identify himself? I'm not asking for him to get on his knees. I'm asking him for follow his policy. The policy is to identify yourself. Is, I mean, am I wrong here, sir? The identity. I'm not saying you're wrong. Well, then why doesn't he follow the law? That's why I do what I do. Well, you don't have to. You're not a public official. He is. He's supposed to identify. Him. And what about this guy being charged with a felony? Come on. Well, I'm telling you about it now. You can go to my channel, I've delete laws, and watch I've seen it. his video with Grebo. Right. I don't think what he do was think very God respectful. But we don't respect another, cops. We've well, been abused and been treated terrible by cops. That, that's fine. You don't it's not like fine, him, though. Right? It's not okay. What I've I been through is the reason. I hate every one of them. I hate every last yeah, one of them. I, I can't do that. I, well, of course I you can. Have you been to the torture system? I, 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 have you been to the dungeon? Have you been arrested and put in the dungeon? Yes or no? No. Okay, oh, then you have oh, no oh, idea. I'm so sorry, folks. There it is. There it is. I hate every last one of them. And then listen to how he responds to me. Well, of course you can. Have you been to the torture system? Have you been to the dungeon? Have you been arrested and put in the dungeon? Yes or no? No. Okay, then you have no, no idea. There it is right there. There's a microcosm. There's the people who are against us. There's the people who are stuck in the middle. Why do you hate all cops, Chili? They signed up to the same policies and procedures and despotism that the rest of the pigs did. You don't get a pass from me. I've been through the torture system dozens of times. I've been arrested, put in torture cuffs dozens of times. Don't tell me, oh, they're not all bad. This guy's never been arrested. Bro, thank you for talking, but let's just be honest. 
go to a, go get a pair of torture cuffs and have your wife or your girlfriend or your brother put you in those torture cuffs behind your back. So your wrists are pinned behind your back, not with some loose little chain, use the little hinge chains they're using now and leave yourself there for 20 minutes, just 20 minutes. Just, I mean, kinetic customs and racing can tell you about it. He told me about his torture cuff system, his torture cuffs situation. He went through, he, they mangled him. They mangled his wrists, mangled him. What are you talking about? You never been through it, brother. You've never been through it. Okay. If you've never been through the torture, then you don't understand what it's like. If you've never been put in the back of the car with your hands shackled behind your back by your wrists and feeling that burning sensational pain in your hands and in your wrists, and then your shoulders start to burn. And then they take the seatbelt and they strap you into the hard plastic seats. And then they might turn the heat on or the air conditioner on, depending on how they want to torture you. And it happens all the time. They may not put you in a seatbelt and slam on the brakes so that your face hits the back of the plexiglass that they have in almost every cop car, except for the Michigan State Police. I saw they don't have that torture glass in there. But it's a torturous process. What a lot of lawyers say is you can beat the rap, but not the ride. The ride is being slapped in torture cuffs, having your shoulders and wrists mangled, then being completely taken over and having dominion over your body as they put you in the back of a torture mobile. They strap you into the back of the hard plastic seats. Then they take you down to the dungeon where you're treated completely inhumanely as though you are a subject or a product. You're not a human being anymore because they just have to process you through so they can get as much money as they can for the criminal injustice industry. So with all due respect, sir, you don't know what the you're talking about. You never been through it. You don't know what you are talking about. Plain and simple. You don't know. You don't understand. To have understanding, has anybody ever here swam 500 yards? Has anybody ever here ran a mile as hard as they can or ran a marathon? That's a better example. Have you ever ran a marathon? Have you ever ran a half marathon? Well, if I explain to you what it's like to recover from a marathon, I've ran three. If, if I explain to you what it's like to recover from a marathon and you haven't done it, then you couldn't possibly understand what it's like to recover from a marathon because you've never ran one. If you've never been through the torture system, through the dungeon system, through the criminal injustice industry, then you have no idea how you see people who are supposed to be good, good people, like all these cops are saying, oh, I'm good, I'm good. They just turn off humanity the moment they have you in torture cuffs because power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's why I'm giving away my stuff for free. I want you guys to have this trifold in your car. I want you to have the trifold in your car. I want you to invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I don't want to see you go through the dungeon system. P-Rex is here. Scrubzilla's here. Mark is here. What is going on, Do Wire? What is going on, Kinetic Customs and, and Racing? What is going on? You ran a 10K? I've ran about legitimately 10Ks. I probably ran a couple thousand, a couple thousand 10Ks at least. Six miles? I've ran six miles before practice. 6.1 miles before practice, before wrestling practice. So, yeah, I, I, I know exactly what it's like to, to go through serious, serious physical regimen. And because I went through so much physical regimen, I now have like this internal cock strength that I am confident in my ability. Like, you, you, you're not going to rattle me with my physicality. I mean, I know my blood pressure is crazy, but... Anthony, what it does, Anthony said, how's the trifold isn't going to help me. They don't care about the law around here. Well, Anthony, if you use your camera like a ninja and you have your trifold in your visor, then you're not going to get killed. And if you do, it's on camera. Hopefully we can get some justice for you. <laughs> hopefully we can get some justice for you. <laughs> I hope we can get some justice for you. Well, of course you can. Have you been to the torture system? Have you been to the dungeon? Have you been arrested and put in the dungeon? Yes or no? No. Okay, then you have no idea what I've been through. You haven't even been arrested once. I've been but arrested 30 times. The thing is, not everybody is the same. He would have yes, they gladly are. put me in torture cuffs and dragged me off to a dungeon. Yes, they are. He didn't, did Because he has no standing. If he could, he would. If he could, he absolutely would. Yeah. I'm saying, 
No. You don't know it, how bad it is until it happens to you. And then you call me. As much as you hate me, your husband has got to get arrested once and you'll call me. You'll call me. You'll call me and say, hey, please help me. So many emails. Let me, I wish I could just, you want to see my emails? Every day, help me, Chili. Please help me, Chili. I believe you. Please help me. So many people say, please help me. The cops are railroading me, cheating me. I agree with your shirt, sir. Who's that? Your shirt. Please help me. Hundreds and hundreds of emails from cops who abuse and ruin people. Help me, please. The cops are cheating me, lying about me, charging me with felonies. Hundreds of emails a day. Richard, free stuff like coming. Cops. Richard, I got your free stuff coming. I mean, that's the whole problem. I, I asked this cop to identify and he didn't identify. You're violating your own policy. Okay, see if these guys do it. What's your name and badge number? You're supposed to identify yourself. They don't. Can you please identify yourselves? Is it not your policy? Right here. Right here. Your name's Deputy right here. Steve Why don't you identify your, let's see, was this? Okay, are you the supervisor? Why don't you get them yes. to identify as well? They're not, they're not even, I'm, I'm letting them go. You, yeah, but you, it's but not up you're to you to let them policy. go. This is why so, people hate cops. You know, your policies to, I'm of course, you're here not. to make sure everybody stays safe. No, you're not. Oh, you I'm mean doing. the people who attacked me that I didn't press charges on? Is that what you're talking about? Because I don't believe that putting them in jail is going to make the world a better place. Okay. But why didn't you tell them to identify? That's the reason why people don't like you, dude. I'm not going to get in a debate with you. So. Of course, you're not. You couldn't anyway. You're not on my knowledge level, not even close. You're not even remotely close to my level of knowledge. It's not even remotely close. <laughs> Good luck to Palestine. Hopefully they start we, we decide we killed enough Palestinians we and we can stop killing people. That's it. See you guys on the next one. Later, Gators. There it is. There it is. I'm just sending off. Um, I just sent off to David, David M. I just sent you off a bunch of free stuff just now, David. Thank you for your order. I super appreciate it. Um, sent that off just now to Scott. Scott just sent you off a bunch of free stuff. Check your spam folder, please. Make sure that it's not in your spam folder. Richard over in Indiana, I just sent you a bunch of free stuff in your email. Check your email. I sent you everything that I sell for free. It's in your email right now, uh, Richard in Indiana. And then I have um, Scott, Scott in Arkansas. Scott, I just sent you a bunch of free stuff just now. It's in your email. Please check your email. Check your spam folder. There that is. Real quick, I'm just going to refresh this and see if any more orders came in while I was sitting here. Um, make sure that let me make sure that I have Scott in here. Just want to make sure that I have Scott. Okay, Scott, and this is going to be Scott in Arkansas. I do believe I already have you in here, Scott, but I'm just want to make sure that I sent this to you. So you may get to. I just want to make sure. Nope, it's not there. Okay, here's everything I sell for free. Check your email right now. I just sent off everything I sell for free to 15 more people. 15 more people just got everything I sell for free. Thank you so much for your order. I appreciate it. A couple of people didn't purchase anything. They just got the um, they just got the uh, periodicals, the Mullen Commission, the Knapp Commission, the uh, Wickersham Commission, the LaGuardia Report, the Racist Origins of Gun Control. So those things are super, super important that you guys have all those. So I want to make sure everybody has them. Listen, um, I've been on for, for almost three hours. I should get the flock out of here pretty quick. Um, but, oh, is that right? Let's cover that tomorrow, Ranting Redneck. Will you do ahead and email that to me? I love NC Ty Tyrant Hunter, by the way. I really love his his channel. There's only a few auditors I watch now. I don't really have anything to do with a lot of those folks over there. But I do watch some people's videos once in a while. You know, I'm on a mission here. My mission is to change the law, to change, to delete dumb laws. That's my actual mission here. And so... Um, I'm not going to stop on that under any circumstances or any conditions. Nothing will deter me. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me. Good luck. Good luck. I train every day and I carry a gun every day. So good luck with that. Just make sure that you, you have a lot of people with you. Because people, when they get shot, they don't typically die right away. It takes them a little while. So I just want to make sure you guys know. All right. Good to see everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, Go to my website right now, deletelaws.com. Any orders come in in the next 10 minutes, I'll send you everything I sell for free. Go to deletelaws.com right now. Order anything. I don't care what it is. Order one thing. If you buy one thing from my website, I will then send you everything I sell for free right this second. Right this. Everybody check your email real quick. Make sure that everybody got your free stuff. Check your spam folder. I'm looking at the comment section over here. Make sure everybody got their free stuff, please. I want to make sure everybody... Chevy, see ya. Jim, Scrubzilla. I want to make sure everybody... 
I want to make sure everybody got their free stuff. Thank you, Damone. I appreciate it. Citizen Broadcast Cooperative. Thank you. I appreciate it. Scrubzilla. Always good to see you. Super duper. It's always nice to see you in here. Thanks for coming. I super appreciate it. Brick, what is going on? Thank you. All right, you guys, listen, use your trifold. Use your 5A cop card. Don't talk to these jackboot thug pigs. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Gators.